Is everyone ready to um, play? Nope. Nope. Hell yeah. Alright guys, good game. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> can't kill me if I'm not here. So if we yes, all die, do we want to continue with this campaign? Or are we starting a new campaign? <laughs> with new characters. Next campaign. Furry edition. I mean, if worse comes worse, no, continue. I want to know the full storyline of everything. I mean, if there's a TPK, I'm not going to continue this campaign. If there's a near TPK, I'm not going to finish this campaign. What's a TPA? TPK oh, is a kill. total party kill. Well, we're all fucked. Anyhow, um, I got the map to work this time, guys. See so y'all. Can't. Come on. Quick drag. Come on. Quick drag. Quick drag to. To page. You changed yourself. There we go. There we go. You're where you need to be now. Good. Yeah, in the dark. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, which Did I not give Lothar light? So I remember setting up dynamic lighting for him. I did not turn back on the light. Yeah, I should him. be carrying a torch, too. And I have my dark vision glasses on. I'm fucked. I will say, this looks nothing like what I was picturing in my brain, but... No, didn't you find out that Triss actually does have dark vision? Oh, Triss does not have dark vision. vision. I'm a fairy. Fairies don't have dark vision. I thought that in the last one we found something out. You're like, wait, no, I do. I, I don't know. I thought there was something. Mm. I mean, to be fair, you could cast fairy fire and make us all spectral. You have glow. the spell dark vision that you can cast on yourself. Oh, yeah, I have the spell dark vision. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Uh. Fuck it. I caused dark vision. You're gonna burn a second level spell to cast Dark Vision. Gotcha. I don't really have anything in interesting in second level spells. Light a torch. Uh, I can't see. This is the issue. I can't see my character sheet because most of the screen is messed up. All Summon right, you should have Dark Vision now. Misty Chris. Step. Can you see? I do wish that I could. You can see, you can fight. I can see, but I don't like fighting. You're a barbarian. I know. I'm a pacifist. Just no one knows yet. Alright, anyway, when we last left off, I do believe Lothar was going to try to put a spirit to rest, correct? You are looking down into the pit that was uncovered, uh, and you found that there was a uh, corpse that the light was floating over top of. Yeah... See what we can do here. All right. What in particular should I roll? Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're gonna try to like describe to me what you're doing. This is a role-playing game, not a role-playing game. Work. He's looking at his spell list. Doesn't have to be on the spell list. You can RP and such. Can I use ceremony in a way and basically do a ritual? So do a ritual casting for it? 
Uh, can you share ceremony? Uh, it's it, it's not ceremony doesn't have. Well, it has funeral, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you share it with the uh, party? All right. Do you have twenty-five gold pieces worth of silver? That'd be two hundred and fifty silver pieces. I only have 85 silver pieces on me. Well, bums. I will also allow you to uh, destroy a holy water if you have any holy water on you. For this. I, I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't have any holy water. I do, but is it something we want to use it on? I was trying to purify a soul. Fair enough, I'll give you my holy water. No, I don't have speak with dead prepared. You okay there, Brock? You sound I'm I'm oh I'm I'm sorry, I'm reading at the same time. He also was asleep for the last like thirty minutes of the game, so I'm trying to like he's trying to like remember what was going on. He fell asleep but, like, too. Thank God I'm not the only one. He was like sitting in his chair and he fell asleep, so I'm just trying to be like, Yeah, this is what was happening. Yeah. Uh, I'll be right back um, really quick. No, I take the back I have speak with dead prepared. Would you like to speak with dead? Make sure Yeah, I would like to do that. Can you share Speak with Dead? Alright, 10 feet. Uh, burning incense. Uh, he is around the corner, comparatively oh. to you. Uh, 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 I'm trying to figure out how many questions you get. Five questions. Up to uh, five questions. Only ask for it. And then leave. I know the reference you're making. Alright. So, Lothar, describe you casting Ceremony. Or Speak With Dead? Or, sorry, yes. Sorry, Speak With Dead. Um... Oh, yeah, so uh, you see a strong uh, necromantic energy, uh, green, um, dull green color emanate from Lothar as he begins casting uh, this spell. You actually uh, begin to see his eyes will glow a, uh, a iridescent color um, as he's looking at the co at the uh, the corpse uh, down there, and then. At the same time, once once he's done casting, the corpse's eyes glow with a with a with a um, with a bright green, and then there is a sort of green light smoke that it emanates from the eyes uh, once the casting is done. As the casting completes, the corpse breathes in a ragged breath, and the will o' wisp seems to be sucked into its mouth. And it looks up at you, expectant. How did you die? Devoured. Can you describe what devoured you? Great worm, black of scale. Dune? Can I think of another one real quick? Because I'm trying to think without... Um, okay. Do you know how deep in is his lair? Can you repeat that? Sorry.
is there is there a danger lurking ahead? There is danger everywhere. Got two more. There are a couple. Uh, by the way, the spell will only activate, like, the question will only be answered if Lothar asks it, so the rest of you can pipe up with recommendations. Okay, I'm back. We're inside the dragon corpse, are we not? Like, we saw the rib cage, like, the thing, like, it. If I recall correctly, last time that we, the last game, we determined that we are inside the dragon. This, this body was killed in the last stand attempt killing the dragon. So the dragon died at the same, in the same battle of this corpse being devoured by the dragon, if I'm recalling correctly. So like, the dra this isn't like a cave the dragon dug. This is like, we're inside the rib cage or whatever you, yeah. of the throat. That is correct. You are inside of a giant dragon corpse that was seems to the seems to have been that they are starting to try to make a dungeon with inside like a, a place with inside the corpse. Like there is work done, but it doesn't seem to have been finished. game this guy died like in the throat of the dragon while it was being while the dragon was being killed like he like the, the dragon like ate this guy while during like the dragon's last stand and it was still slaughtered mm -hmm. so you got two more questions do we want to ask uh, do we want to ask like Okay, so while we're in here, what do we want to accomplish? I know Perky says that there's something about a suit of armor somewhere here that he has heard of, but we also, I mean, are we trying to put these spirits to rest? Is that our goal? Are, is there three total? I know we saw, I, I'm trying to remember how there, many. There were three Will-O-Wisps that you had saw, seen. Is there anything in particular you're trying to lead us towards? Rest. Should I use the last one to see how to do it? I uh, I was thinking either that. I, I like that. Or you ask if, if the other spirits also want rest, but it might not know that answer anyway. So... Do you know what? what? No, I, I I would say go with the ask it how to put it put it to rest because the other ones um may, might be the same, but also like this the spirit only knows as much as it does before it died. It's not going to know necessarily what the other spirits are thinking. But then there's no telling that they would know how to put their spirits to rest either. Then. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask. I mean, got one. Unless anybody can think of anything else. Hopefully, hopefully they came in with the knowledge of, of you know what to do. Maybe. My dear sir, do you know how we may achieve this rest for you? The corpse just kind of stares at you for a moment as the last bit of magic seems to fade from its eyes. 
and it answers only with one word. Search. Looks like we still dungeon crawling. Uh, one moment. I need to send reference stuff. Yeah. Obi. Um, if you know what I'm referencing, yeah, that's pretty much what happens to you. You may you may uh, react accordingly. Uh, so yeah, uh, Lothar, as you finish that uh, spell, the corpse seems to breathe out heavily. The Will-O-Wisp does not reappear. you're gonna be holding a great sword out like a dowsing rod. My brother in Pelor, you are inside of a very small area. You're gonna be hitting it against walls. Uh... It doesn't seem to. So can we safely assume that that spirit is now put to rest, or do we still need... I just want to understand, like, yeah, we saw the wisp hasn't re respawned, but... Like, do any of us know anything about wisps to know that if he did speak with dead and it didn't reappear that that spirit has passed on can we do like an arcana check or some or history or something i'm sorry i was answering something can you repeat that um do any of us know like for certain that with the fact that this the wisp did not reappear that that spirit is laid to rest. You know, do do we need to do like an arcana or a history or Maybe medicine? Maybe a religion check because that's for undead. With a thirteen, you are fairly certain that the willow wisp or whatever spirit that that was seems to have been put rest put to rest yeah but I can only cast that one more time in the entire day though there's two more of them too I can't I mean maybe finding the bodies and doing whatever we need to to like honor them could also do it true Mm. Then we're still one more. There's three total. You got rid of one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I'd like to save my last third level spell for Spirit Guardians when shit happens. 
Or revivify to save one of you. And do we continue on this path? Yeah. yeah. Finish out searching this section, and we'll go back and do east and west. Um, as the group continues on downwards, Obi is just going to get seemingly nauseous out of nowhere, feeling cold chills all across his body. He has no idea why, though, but he just has a really bad feeling about this place. Obi, I swear to God, if you die again. Alright, so I'm down in here now. Um, what am I looking at? Uh, you'd have to get over the pit. What's your strength score? Uh, 15. Oh, yeah, 15. Yeah, anybody with a strength score that is over 10 is fine. Uh, yeah, looking around, you happen to see that there seems to be a corpse of what looks to be an armored warhorse uh, inside what the where the jaws were of this dragon. Uh, part of it's grown over, and, like, there's dirt. Uh, there's dirt there. Uh, Lothar, as you approach it, it actually starts moving. Where is it at, uh, exactly? Because I'm standing right here. I didn't see any pings or nothing. Because I was getting it from a different layer. Oh. So I need to move Draxas back and you up front, because that's where you were. Yes. Are we allowed to, like, roam right now? Is it, like, we gotta wait please for do not. Okay. Yeah, please don't roam. Just making sure. Yeah, you guys are effectively in narrative exploration mode. Um, so, you you may roam to the party, but not away from you. Okay, because I figured, but I just wanted to make sure. Uh, so the bones of this horse start to shift and move, and then the head kind of, like, you hear the crack and the scrape of bone against bone, and the clatter of metal, rusted metal armor hitting the skull as the undead warhorse seems to kind of look at you, Lothar, and try to stand up, but it seems to be missing a leg as it's trying to stand up. Uh, stumbles and falls and starts getting back up. Does it seem like it's aggressively doing it? Uh, make me an insight check. Uh, with a 25. Actually, we'll put that as a 23 because you wouldn't have really had a chance to cast guidance on this um with a 23 you get the feeling that it's almost like a horse approaching its master all right i go up to it Ooh. try to help it stand yeah because gonna... it's losing it's missing the leg it's yeah it I'm, I'm gonna try and prop it up all right uh it is despite the fact that it is a horse because it's bone and metal armor it's actually a lot lighter Plus, you're a pretty strong guy. Uh, it kind of... You start propping it up, and it nuzzles its head into your shoulder. My dear, dear boy, it will be okay. I will try and help you the best I can. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> uh, you do see that its leg is, like, still caught within the jaws of this dragon. May, may I acquire some assistance in freeing this poor beast's foot from the jaws of this dragon? Ginkgo does not have a strength of 10, um, but Ginkgo really wants to help his husband with his horse. Yeah, you can do that. What do I need to do? Uh, you just go, like, what are you trying, how are you trying to help? You said the horse is not, well, I, because I have dexterity, I'm hoping I can try and, like, figure out like how I can like almost, maneuver it. To... Almost an old school escape artist skill check. Yeah. Like just trying to like I want it I want to help it um, get like on un- uncaught, whatever it is. Uh 
we'll say make me a general intelligence check. Does it be 1d20 plus your intelligence? Okay, so can I just hit intelligence on my thing? You should, yeah, you should just be able to hit intelligence. With a 14, you would recognize that you don't move pretty well. You don't move as well in armor. This horse, without all of its bulk being just bone, is having a very similar time, especially with it having a leg missing. Uh, if the armor were to get off, it might be able to move around more freely. I'm going to tell my husband that I'm going to gonna attempt to start taking the armor off. And he knows how armored war horses are armored, so he would know the order in which to yeah. move their pieces. And then also me being around them historically. In and, and, and then scout. also just curious, would I get any advantages or, you know, for with my proficiency in land vehicles? With, yeah. with horses and stuff. You 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 both would be able to uh, take the barding off of the horse, and it would be able to uh, stand a little bit better. It it's still stumbling a little, like it's still like used to having weight to be able to support on all four legs. But like because it's an undead and not very intelligent, it's still kind of like trying to go back to that default, but it can't. So it's like standing normally, and then it tries to default back and stumbles, and it stands normally. Yeah. You can go over to the mouth. Uh, you can make me a sleight of hand check to try to get it out. No, no, no. Let me do that. I, that's what I want to do. I wanted to help free its leg. So I thought armor off would help. All okay. right. You can, make, you can make me a sleight of hand check. Be able to remove it without damaging the bones. Does someone want to guidance me so we make sure we do damage this little horsey? Yeah, I'll do it, guys. Alright. A 23. Yeah, you definitely are able to get the uh, last leg of the horse out. And once it's freed, it almost like seems to magnetize to the bones itself as the necrotic energies pull its body together. Once it's standing on all four legs, it kind of looks at you, Lothar, expectantly. That was a good boy. I'm, I'm so happy that we were able to help you and free you and, and get you moving on your way safely. Uh, Moira pipes. I know I'm not the adventuring type, but uh, is nobody currently freaking out over the fact that there is a horse made of bone just moving? No, we're used to this kind of thing. It's Tuesday. It's like an everyday Tuesday thing. We usually get killed, almost get killed on Mondays, though, so it's kind of a, you know... Obi almost died like six times, Lothar's... <laughs> almost died a couple times, you know, it's just an everyday workday thing. <laughs> Make me a deception check. the only good role I'm gonna get this whole game. Uh, Obi, as Moira, so open up her sheet, make me an insight check. Yeah, uh, Moira would believe her. I knew or I was right to come and get my lot. husband's fucking ass. But this is gonna take some time to get used to. I look at the horse, man. My, my poor creature. Oh, I, I wish you could tell me what befouled you. Seems to just be staring at you.
Is this gonna be like a... I can speak with animals, would that work? You can try, you wanna cast it? <clears throat> uh, one moment. Uh, and no, I can't uh, even click on her to move her. It pops up with the, uh, like, the, the crossed arrows. Um, but I can't do anything else with that. The crossed arrows. Like the, the... Shit, is that perpendicular? Like the two... Anyway. Um, I can cast it I'll, free once I'll per go, day. I'll go in there and check. Alright, show me. This thing. Yeah. Click that. Oh, I'm just dumb. Got it. Noted. No, it happens. Anyway. Uh, so I can cast Speak with Animals once per day for free. So I do that. Alright, uh, yeah, you uh, describe to me your Speak with Animals as you are trying to channel it to speak to an undead animal. What, what difference uh, would happen? I just... Treat it it's, like it's, it's, it's not n- undead. It's speak animal, but more punk rock. <laughs> well, it speaks with like the voice of a screamer that he's been screaming for twenty five years, and now he's kind of like talks normal, but it's like no. deep and raspy. No, it sounds like Jack Black with an echo. <laughs> All right, so. You cast Speak with Animals, uh, doing the verbal and somatic components. Uh, what do you do as the spell resolves and you have the ability to speak and understand to animals? What do you want me to say to it, Lotha? Well, I was just wanting to know what, what, what harm befell this fair creature. Um, if there's any way that we can help it on its journey going forward. Hi, friend. You're not having a very good day, are you? It turns its head and looks at you. What happened? It opens its mouth as if to reply to you. But there are no vocal cords and cannot reply to you. Yeah, I thought so. Um, if you died recently, paw your hoof twice. If you died a long time ago, paw your hoof once. Mr. Ed. (laughs) Uh, It seems to, like, look at you for a long moment and then dip its head. A long time ago? It doesn't paw on anything. It just dips its oh. head. It has no conception of time. Yeah. Oh, listen. I mean, you don't, you're not limited in questions. You got ten minutes of this. No, I know. I'm just trying to figure out how to communicate with something that has no vocal cords. And does not have the ability to sign because it's the worst. Yep. (laughs) You can can show it, be like, this is nodding your head, do this. If you, if if the answer is yes, and then shake your head and be like, this means, this is shaking your head, this means no. You could, like, maybe do that. I will try that. Can it nod or shake its head? Uh, it nods and then it kind of does that thing that horses do, like, where they shake their head, but it's like their entire like, body on it. Yeah. You hear the clatter of bone against bone. So, Lotha, Lotha didn't make a spell to make this happen, it just happened. It just happened. Do you know why you're not at rest and unable to uh, why you're? I don't know how to word it. It falls to the ground and then it shakes its entire body. Don't know. I 
nudges you... low bar. See if it wants us to get it free of this area. Do you want us to free you from this area? It kind of looks at you for a long time, then it looks to Lothar. As if expecting something. I think he expects something from you. Ask him if he recognizes Lothar. Do you recognize Lothar? It nods. Can I make an insight check? Yeah, make me an insight check. What are you trying to figure out? I'd recognize the armor. Like, check Was, the yeah, like, I want to look at the armor and see if the armor, I recognize the armor, or if I have memories of a horse that I had from the war. Um, remembering things would be a history check. Not an insight check. Really would like it to be an insight <laughs> check. Unfortunately, remembering things requires more mental acuity and not street smarts. Can I, uh, can I check history? Um, see if I recognize the armor that was on this horse? If Maybe even check, is, is there a name carved into the armor? Is there a symbol from its rider or the company it was in? Or like uh, any 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 maybe um uh God I can't think of the word any religious symbol on the armor. Uh, you can make me a investigation check to look for that, and if you find anything, it would be a history or religion check depending on what you find. Okay, I'm gonna do an investigation check. Does someone want to guide us? I'll do guidance on it. I will also ex I will also accept a smith's tools check for finding a maker's mark on the armor. And if only we had someone with smith's tools. Uh, with a 27, yes, you do find some religious iconography on it. Uh, it seems to be that of Torm. And do I recognize this armor from any of the company that we were part of in the, like, because no, I, I want uh, to... No, it, it's, it does not seem familiar to you. Um, however, you do have a smith in your party who might have more information if they were to look at it. Is the missing articles of their leg around? The missing articles of their leg? Because they're we missed already freed the egg and it, We already freed the leg and it reattached. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. So, because, sorry, then if I, if I recall, the, the, the felling of this dragon was well before Ginkgo and Lothar would have even been alive. So, this, so yeah, it must be attracted to your. Your religious symbol. Mm-hmm. Um, Obi is going to take a look at the armor. Yeah, make me an intelligence-based smith's tools check. With a 22, you would recognize that this armor has been out of fashion for uh, barding on horses for quite a while. It is old armor. This is not a recent death of the horse. It has been dead for a bit. Uh, can we put the barding back on now that it's freed and has use of all four limbs? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, mm -hmm. With uh, your knowledge of you know, war horses and all that stuff and Ginkgo and even Obi being a smith and having to have probably outfitted a knight's or at least fixed a knight's uh, barding once or twice well, when they came animal. through. What was that? Well, we still have speak animal. Do we want to have Triss ask, ask if it wants to have the barding put back on it while we still have speak animal going? We only have that for a little bit. Yeah, so I don't want to put So before we try to put the barding on, let's have Triss ask if it does want the barding and everything put back on it because I don't want to do that waste too much time and all that do you, do you want your barding 
put back on. It looks to Lothar expectantly. Yes, I, I do believe that the barring should go back on. This it looks back to you and nods. This horse, majestic as it is, deserves all rights due to it. Oh. Okay, do we want to ask any more questions? What was that, sorry? You can still ask questions while you put the armor back on. Okay, I just don't want to waste too much of our time. Um, okay. I know I'm trying to figure out what we can do for the horse. Me too, that's what I'm wanting to figure out. Like, how can we... I mean... I ain't against having an undead war horse of, of Torm. But I also want what's best. I don't want to. I want to keep this, 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 you know, this horse in servitude whenever it should be at rest. Tris, ask it if it wants to be laid to rest to to pass on to the next, you know, to the plane of its, you know, of Torm and its previous master. Just like if it wants to be laid to rest. Do you wish to be laid to rest so that you can go on to your afterlife world? It nods and uh, stomps its feet. Do you need to leave this place for that to happen? It kind of just stares at you, then dips its head. Okay, so it doesn't know how it is to be laid to rest. I think we should take it out of here. I agree. It could be something inside it that's holding it back. Uh, make me a perception check. Uh, you do not see anything. That would be causing this. It's a skull that you're in. Do I recognize the barding on the horse to match anything with the other body of the one that we just laid to rest? Maybe is that its owner? Uh, looking at it uh, and like trying to suss it out, make me a... No, actually, I'll just say you'd be able to get it. Yeah, that was its owner. We take them together. Well, we've already laid to rest the owner. We'll bring it to its owner. The body. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I won't go into detail of you guys raffling down to grab the corpse and then dragging it back up because it's easy enough to do. You don't need to like roll anything. Uh, once the corpse is set in front of it, the horse kind of like nudges its former uh, rider, nudges them again, and then lays down next to them. Cried once today. The... Let's not make me cry again. And rest its head on the uh, uh, rib cage. Moss, please. Tris, wh wh while you can, you should let it know that its its owner is waiting for it after it passes uh, on. I was gonna say the ten minutes have been up at this point. Darn it! But I will say, Moss, sweet beautiful creature, it is you it is understand. time to roam. It is what I didn't catch. Oh, I was telling him, it's time to roam. Make your way towards True Heart and run the fields. As you finish saying that, you realize it's already passed. Its body is just laying there now. Well, we've done our good deed for the day. Time to leave. I mean, at this point, they've been fossilized. 
Let's not and say we did. Yep, that, let's not even say we did. Make me an athletics check. No oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, Draxus goes to uh, take a tooth, and y'all are like, no! I don't think it's worth it. It's 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 the teeth of a great worm dragon. That's not a necklace, dude. That's like an in, that's like a gargoyle a in cup. front of it. Yeah, no, not even that. Like the tooth is literally like the size of your car. Okay, not that big. No. Say it, not that big, but like it's definitely the size of his great sword. It just stoned now. Magical properties have long left. Uh, Moira notices because she's right there. A small tunnel leading off. Yeah, could we even fit in that some bitch? Uh, Obi and Moira probably could. The rest of you couldn't. <laughs> but lucky for me, I have a wand of, of a, uh, of. Strength size. I have an in, in lodge reduce spell, but it's my last second level spell. Probably not worth it for this. So what? Probably, <laughs> probably the only people that could fit in there would be Ginko, uh, Obi, and Moira. That's it. It's Obi and Moira. Moira would have a, a hard time being in heavy armor. Obi, not so much, considering he's uh, a lot more lithe. Uh and wears leather armor, which is a lot more flexible. And then Ginko in no armor. Thank you. Yeah, hey, it's hey. more the fact that Obi and Moira are a lot smaller. Ginko could, but they would, uh, but he would be squeezing. Well, I thought Ginko was shorter than five seven before just now. I don't Ginko, know. Ginko, how tall are you? I don't know. Five seven. I think it goes like five, six, five, seven. Hmm. Obi, what I have? How are you? Uh, Being a dwarf. Hold on. Five foot. Oh wow, you're pretty tall for a dwarf. I was going off wow dwarf. I... Fair enough. I didn't know they stack shit that high. <laughs> But I don't want to go in the hall. I was going to say, only if Obi so wishes. One sec. Do we have any understanding of what is, what is through this next corridor? Also, hold up. We were told three to red. Was is that two now? Uh, technically two. That's that two. was one willow wisp and a horse. A horse torn. Okay. That horse is now majestically running through True Heart. Okay. It's located in Murica or Maricura, whatever you want to call it. Obi is it's very Mark. reluctantly going to start trying to make his way to the tunnel and see where it's Alright. Uh, Obi, you have stones cunning, correct? Yeah. Uh, looking through here, it looks like this was purposely carved out. It was not part of the uh, dragon. This was by hand. I'm just moving you along the tunnel for you. Okay, I guess. That way it's easier for you. You can tell me when to stop your move, if you would like. Stop there. Alright. Uh, is this 
room illuminated, or am I only able to see because of my uh, dark vision? You're only able to see because of your dark vision. Obi, a light appears behind you. Seems to float over your shoulder and into your field of view. stop sign. Right. For whatever reason, it you feel like you're being looked at. I fucking bet. Um, right, so with this tunnel, is it, like, a consistent, like, width all the way across, or is it, uh, get wider towards the part where I'm at? Uh, it empties out, like, near the end, it spreads out, it deltas out, I think the term is. One second, I gotta sneeze. Bless you. You heading back to the party? Well, actually, what I was planning to do is right about here, I was wanting to see how feasible it would be for me to use the mining pick to dig a tunnel for the rest of the party to come through. Assuming they could fit the rest of the way through. I mean, if you want to spend the, uh... Make me an athletics check to see about this. Cool. Yeah, you'd be able to do that. I am a dwarf and a digging So the rest of the party starts hearing metal against stone. Tink, 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 tink. About ten minutes go by, and you've done the whole I can bring the party over to the area if you'd like. Yes, I call them over as like, I found an opening for you. Although it's less like found and more of I made it my fucking self. Congratulations, you have a dwarf with a pickaxe in your party. I should have expected this to happen sooner. Just dragging you all into the area. That looks like a, um... Coffin? Aye, it does. You may now reorient it. You may now reorient yourselves however you so wish. I feel like I'm about where I need to be. Yeah, I'm good. Right. But this one has a wisp. Make me a history check. Yeah, with a natural 20, or a 20, and a 4 on your gui on your guidance for a 24. Uh, you would recognize 
uh, generally was used for uh, how, how how to put it um, more renowned warriors in battle uh, as it's more like on the top of the coffin you'll recognize like there's a holy symbol there there's etching in a language what languages do you speak? Okay, you don't recognize the language. Um, you still don't recognize the language. Uh, some script. Uh, probably, like, who this was. Uh, you do recognize that, like, on the edges of the coffin are, like, depictions of, like, uh, various fights. Uh, it looks to be that on the depictions of these coffins are... Uh, what well, seems to be like a horde of warriors standing against a dragon, and the uh, in the front of the uh, horde seems to be a group of uh, eight warriors. Is the language in either Elven or Halfling? No. Is it Draconic? It is not. I know what it is, but none of us has it. I think, I, I think it is celestial, but I don't. If none of us have it, there's no way in hell we know. I have Sylvan or Promote Primordial. Gonna, I was gonna say, I can't read Korean. I can point out Korean. Yeah, I, I see it. Just I was kind of wondering, could like, can I make a check to like notice what it? I mean. In a sense, like, I can read Russian, but I can't tell you Ukrainian, but I can tell you it's Ukrainian, though. Does that count? Uh, you'd have to take off your armor for that. Would you like to take I'll off your that. armor? Yeah, my, well, my, sorry, you can make me a, a history check. My screen just went weird. Well, that sucks. Make me a history check anyway. Yeah, I can still do that. I might not know what it rolled, but I'm doing that. Um, do we recognize what type of um, being? 18 plus 1. Okay, what did I miss? I'm sorry, my mom called me. How dare you? I... Of course I'll be fucked this over again. No, I should know. This is good. We're good. Oh, we're good? Okay, cool. Um, oh, wait, I'm not it mad is, at anymore. Uh, it is Celestial. Oh. I don't speak crazy. that. Hi. Hello, Pickle. Are you here to destroy my computer, too? Too soon. These, these, these bourbon creams that we picked up at Jungle Gyms are amazing yeah <laughs> i mean they're one pound uh 50 a piece but man i i pay three pounds for these um do we recognize like what type of humanoid figures so there are eight of them so i'm assuming there are eight will wisps we have to lay to rest um do we know what the, uh are are they all the same humanoid creature you know, all the same race, or is it a mix on the imagery, or is it just they're all very basic and armor on the imagery for simplicity purposes while carving? Uh, it seems to be pretty simplistic. However, there seems to be some slight differences uh, between them all. Uh, if you would like to uh, roll me a... Uh, what... what, what um, Yes, yes, Kat. I, I see you are here. That you are looking my shirt. Um what what is what is what what was I gonna say? Um Yeah, if you could roll me a uh, uh I think this would be considered a history check, honestly. Um Someone guidance me.
with a 19. Oh, hi, cat. Uh, yeah, you would recognize that of the eight that are this cat, I swear. Of the eight that are there, um, hold on, Pixel is being adorable, but annoying. Just and wants attention. Okay. She, really want. she really does want. She really does want. She she's in trouble. She yeah. just wants to help you, like, DM. She, yes. She is the DM cat. She wants at your computer. She does. She wants that too. I'm I'm terribly sorry, guys. Um, so, of the eight that were standing there, uh, one of them seems to be, uh. Actually, no, I, I'll put it like this. You think back on various stories of, like, fights against dragons and such. Things that happened way back in the day that, like, oh, yeah, you heard about it in a tavern once. Somebody was recounting, a, a bard was recounting the tales of some brave heroes. And the other patrons were like, yeah, yeah, that all right. That definitely happened, sort of thing. They thought the barber, that person was, like, on LSD or something. Yeah. Um, you remember a party of eight that helped slay a great worm, black of scale, that didn't seem to wish to die. Stories of this dragon defying death. It took a party of two different groups of adventurers binding together to become one. The eight consisted of a bard, a cleric. I can tell Lenar. Len Lenar. Why? Why is Lenar typing? Uh, wrong one. <laughs> they're they're next to each other. Sorry, I had to refresh my my browser. When I came back in, I tried to quickly change it. Okay, hold on, let me I... let me fix it. Yeah, yeah. Um By the way, this is all entirely just speculating is bullshit, but no. There's a hundred things that it can be too. Uh a bard, a cleric, a uh general of the highest renown, a rogue who never seemed to show up, but always seem to fight. They seem to be able to be permanently invisible. Uh, um, what are they called? They exist. Two barbarians, a set of twins, a paladin, and a ranger. Along with an army at their back. Sorry, question. You said it yeah. was two parties. So it was two parties of four, or was it a party of eight, then there's a separate party as well? I just want to make sure I'm following. Two two parties of four. Adventures tend to bind okay. in groups of four. Okay, thank you. Unlike us. Unlike y'all. Y'all are weird. The kitty cat baron in training has arrived. So, me and Perky kind of have, like, a thing going on with, like, Covington's the cat paladin, and mm -hmm. we said Loki was the cat paladin in training, but recently Loki has became very attackative, like, in a playful way, so we're like, no, he's the barbarian in training. <laughs> mm -hmm. You now be don't believe that is a, dra a Draco Lich? 
No, I'm thinking there's something else happening instead. I don't know. This I, I have a lot of I have a lot of things going through my head right now, and I think it's best not to speculate at the moment in either direction. Because mm -hmm. it's kind of it's kind of like you know like oh I have this pain over my side. Well, congratulations, you have cancer. <laughs> going to uh, so it's one of those like yeah like 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 I feel like I feel like I'm, I'm getting small details and I'm sitting there like speculating shit and I think this is that's a that's a horrible idea right now. It's a bad idea. Like a uh, Google Doctor Google. Yeah, don't don't listen to Doctor Google. Doctor Google dumb. Um, <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna start talking to, to the Wisp. Okay, you approach the Wisp. My dear friend, I I, I suspect that your your death was not in the most uh, blessed of moments. However, I do believe that you served a purpose and a justice in the world in your life. Is there any response, or uh, are you casting speak with dead, or are you just talking to it? I'm just talking right now. I only got one more third level spell left. It I'm trying seems to... to flicker a little bit. Hold on, let me. I got a bag of holding a whole bunch of shit. Well, give me one second. <laughs> yes, draw another card from that funny deck. Not happening. I hold up a mummified, shriveled hand and say, Hey, can you help me out with this? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Just walks up to Ginko, unclinks her hand, runs. Bye, guys! I don't really... I don't, I don't really... think you could take that off it. Ginko's wrist. I don't really have anything. That's a I good can... thing if I can't, because I totally would. Yeah, I don't have anything but the bag of holding that would help me out with this. No, that's not there. Check my personal stuff. I don't have anything. Actually, I'm going to try something. Yeah, what's up? I'm going to hold out my Order of the Gauntlet pendant. Mm hmm. So I, I'm here because I'm trying to set as many rights as I can, and I'm trying to preserve the righteousness in this world. I, I do not know what befell you and caused you to be in such turmoil, but I, I assure you that I will not personally rest until we do quell whatever is an issue in here. I cannot promise you the world. I cannot promise you resolution. The only thing I can promise you is that we will do everything in our power to make things better, both here and afar. It seems to just sit there amongst the lot of you. It's light getting slightly brighter than slight, slightly dimmer, almost like a breathing. Let's see what I have. Let's see if I can. Pull some shit on my ass real quick. Is there anything else anybody is there anything anybody else would like to try? Is there anything cool in this room? Uh make me a perception check. Oh he's in the room. He's pretty cool. <laughs> he dug a hole. He did dig a True. hole. That is very cool. Uh you said uh, what, sorry? <laughs> Investigation. Perception check. Perception. I'm okay at that. If I have to change my, I have to change my color. Yeah, Tris, you start to go to look around, and then you get some dust in your eye, and it hurts. It's a lot. It burns. Hey, hey, what does my uh, blessing from a unicorn do? 
You don't is know. Is it a mouse and control that can be used now? It is not a mouse control that can be used now. Dang it. Jaraxxus! I'm gonna say the same thing that I said to Obi. Uh, however, uh. because the other person uh, has done it, I don't think Lothar can do something similar. I um, don't have that. Uh, Draxus, uh, or I should say, Perky, you're, 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 you're pretty weebish, like the rest of us. Uh, have you ever watched Overlord? Uh, have you watched season three? Okay. Then I'm gonna have to send you a thing. Uh... uh I, I'm, I'm gonna have you, uh, do a watch right quick. Scared of this. Uh, Can I use Unicorn's Blessing now? Uh, copy text. Obi wanted to leave, but y'all were like, hey, Obi, go through this tunnel. Uh, find the perks. Send the message to the perks. There you go, the perks. I, I want you to watch that right quick. I think that's the right one. I'm amused. No. And I just kind of click the. Let's proceed, shall we? Yeah, like the best thing I have in here with all that's going on is turn on dead, and I feel like I shoot and cast. Martial art, twin blade strike. Magic arrows. Lesser dexterity. Child's play. He can nullify it. He's too fast. He must be trying to trick us somehow. Hmm. And where do you get that impression? I'm not sensing any magic power from you at all. Oh, you use detection magic. My apologies. Try again. I know I'm not exactly handsome, but vomiting at the sight of me is a bit rude. What did he just do? Everyone, run away! If we fight him, we'll all die! I've never seen power like this before! It's impossible! Impossible! This is a nightmare! We're not dead yet. Quick, help her! I dream. I see. I feel you. So, I was gonna say, starting at one, about 125, that reaction, that's what you do. So, if you'd like to describe, uh, what, what, uh, happens to Draxus as what he experiences. Pretty much, kinda. Oh, he's, like, oh, right behind we could just stay. Boy, yeah, let's stay. go now. Very well, we'll oh. we'll exit. I'm in a wall. Yeah, wrong click. Remember, there's a hole here. I'm waiting for Ginko. No man left behind this time. Uh, as you get up. You see that the Will O Wisp is ah. guarding the stairs. Oh motherfucker! I just got kicked. My, my dear friend. Wait, where's your? Someone is take it? me with them. I've been kicked. I don't want to be left behind. Yeah, everybody should have been running together. So make sure that, like, let's yeah. make sure that everybody's it's at least. Fine. My my dear friend. Would you care to explain, as we are currently blocked right now, what are we facing at this moment? They are in type of undead. You can hit undead, yeah. Yeah, I can hit them. 
I don't think you can hit will-o'-wisps, though. Yeah, I can. Make an attack roll. Oh, we are... We are, we are, we are there. I was gonna say, why do we want to make the first attack? Like, please explain. Why are we attacking first? It's also the cause of Obi shivering earlier. But I mean, everybody else feels fine. Maybe you guys are like claustrophobic. Um, uh, how, how to put this, um, the best way I can describe it is probably going to be a very dark way of putting it. So, um you get the same sort of sense of overwhelming dread as a victim might in a scenario where they are hopeless, where they are overwhelmed, and they are about to be put through very dark things trying to PGify it. Worse than death. Worse than death. You would beg death. For death. Yes. My 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 dear friend Draxus, right now I need you to be one hundred percent truthful with me. Is there a cause for alarm in which we must be very vigilant in getting out? Draxus, the... Because you are a paladin and uh, you're using your divine sense, the bones that still protrude and make up part of these walls and the ceiling you feel an overwhelming sense of pure, vile hatred for everything that each of you are and represent. It seems to be coming from the skeleton of the dragon, however, because of your being able to, uh, Obi, I need to check something for you, just so I don't short you on something, considering what you did. And now for Jaraxxus, uh, just double checking some wordings. Uh, this place is definitely considered desecrated, by the way, like beyond belief. Um. It doesn't give you a direction normally. However, I will make an aside on this on just how overwhelming the source of the hatred is coming from. It seems to be coming from the lower half of the dragon. So, to where you guys are to the north. Oh no, the undead dragon's horny. Yes, near the tail. <laughs> Um, Scarlet, you are undead. 
or a, a form of sort of. Yes, I am. Beer. You feel like, like. Even you are starting to feel the necrotic energies of this place rising. And Triss, I'm going to send you a specific special message. I don't want it. That Can you would instinctually understand just from the vibe of, like, what's going on here. Like, Love you that. would instinctually instinctually get cool does scarlet feel like she's gonna go see her creepy uncle is that what the gif is that you sent me what is <laughs> you never explained it you just sent me a gif oh uh that's that's from a video game a very good video game okay <laughs> i did not understand the revel relevance relevance My dear friend, if this entire place is desecrated in a matter of which we cannot defend, there's nothing that I can do or you can do to remedy uh, that. Our number one action should be seeking shelter. And as much as I wish to lay these souls to rest in a peaceful manner, I am not opposed to destroying them and sending them to the begotten hells in which they will go. Yeah, um, we need to leave. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out how to word that. I think you just did. Well, like, <laughs> my explanation of what Jay told me, how to translate that into conversation, not just, this is the feeling I'm getting. Um... Fuck it. The feeling that I'm getting... <laughs> um... I... 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 I, I, She's I going feel to see like... Her creepy uncle. No. Uh, it's a feeling I felt many times myself. Uh, this feels like... A, a mother protecting its child. Like, we need to leave. Is there any way that I could set past the wisp? You can try. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a, it's a wisp. Is it corporeal? It is an incorporeal undead. However, they have the ability to become corporeal. Well, it just disappeared, so let's go. No, the one you saw disappeared. Oh, there's another one? Oh. There's more blocking the staircase now? Draxus, I need you to be 100% faithful to me this moment. Are we at a situation in which we are at dire needs? Are we pulling out all the stops? Who has the highest passive perception? Uh, Obi. Probably Obi. You start hearing what sounds like an egg cracking. <laughs> I, ca I cast Spirit Guardians. Yeah, cast Spirit Guardians. Yeah, um, baby's hatching, and we're inside mom. And Perky, you mean Onyxia's lair, not Molten Core? Any whelps? Handle it. How right. will the spirit uh, guardians work when you're inside the monster that you're trying to fight? <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? It just needs to make a uh, wisdom saving throw at the start of each of its turns. It's, Speaking it still, of... still takes half damage. 
I need everyone to roll initiative. Yeah, mother fuck. <laughs> you know, I kind of wanted to see my kid before I died. Um. <laughs> But the, oh. but but we're inside a petrified like we're not, it itself isn't. Uh, That's what we think that it's petrified. Nice. Who's that twenty? I I need to bring to token layer. No, thank you. Yeah, he was saying that, because I can't see, I'm going to have to click screen to screen. She said it showed me roll on a 20, but but, I'm sh but it's showing 9 points. Oh, it says 9. <laughs> 20 also, yeah. But, but it says 9 on the chat. I don't have two screens, so I don't know what it is. I have to click over. Token is clicked. And all right, and descending order. You. How fast do you go, Wispy? 120 feet. Fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Needs a wisdom save. I do believe that succeeds, yes? Yeah, it's a DC 14. Alright, can you roll some demos? So it takes five. Alright. Obi, it's now your turn. No, it did not. The fuck that would only happen if you were attacking from stealth. Say what? I was just explaining to Draxus that only happens if you're attacking from stealth. You're ah, literally in the open. That's... you're not in stealth. Anyway, Obi, what you doing? Uh, currently trying to figure out in my head how the fuck you fight a whiz. Swing on with violence. I mean, sure that worked. Uh, okay. you'd have to reposition to get to that. Oh no, you can get it around the corner. Yeah, a twenty-five will hit for five piercing. And sneak attack, because you do have allies within five feet of it, and no, you're not allowed to go there. Ooh, 18 damage. Uh, question. That's just a normal short sword, right? Yeah. Alright. Good to know. And also, isn't it a critical hit, or is that why I'm also over with sneak attack? Uh, it's a sneak attack hit, not a critical hit. If it was one higher, it'd be a critical hit. I don't know, my assassinate thing since I haven't done anything yet. Uh, it is technically an assassinate, yes. Uh, can you share assassinate? Cool. 
You have advantage on any attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken its turn in combat yet. Uh, that is surprised. It is not surprised, but you do have advantage on it. So you can roll again to see if that'll be a critical hit. Oops. That. You're fine. Nope. So we're going with the... Is that 18 total? Yeah. All right. Scarlet, it is now your turn. Uh, uh, so oh. are we still are we trying Sorry, to kill the list or just get past it? Sorry, uh, back up one second. Uh, why were you asking about my short sword again? Just wondering. Uh, Scarlet, it is your turn. Um, so we're trying to get past, like, the wish that's in front of, or next to Draxus, right? Seems to be. Seems to be the case. I guess I'm gonna shoot it with my bow. Alright, let me check if you can see it or not. Uh, yeah, you can see it. Just fine. Uh, yeah, make me an attack roll with your bow. A 15. As you fire your arrow, it seems to flicker out of existence for just a brief moment and then flick back into existence, the arrow passing harmlessly through it. Well, fuck. Um... I have two attacks, right? You do have two attacks. Can I, since I feel the way I feel, can I, since we're in, like, turn order, can I start to rage? Yeah, that takes your bonus action, so you still have okay. another attack after that. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, stay how I am, but I'm gonna be rage just for protection. Alright, uh, are you gonna make your second attack? I guess I'm going to try to shoot it again. Yeah. Make me another longbow strike. Fires an arrow. Misses. Gets pissed off. Okay, let's try this again. Pretty much. Pretty much. A 22 will hit for 11 oh, piercing. So I can change my um, thing for dan or to advantage, right? Since I'm in rage. Uh... It is advantage on strength attacks. Okay. Longbow is a dexterity based attack. Okay, I just want to make sure. And then I'll that'll be my turn. Alright, it is now Moira's turn, her first time in combat. What is Moira doing? What's she um, thinking? What's she doing? She is currently trembling. Uh when she, you know, came to join the party, she was just expecting, you know, normal fodder, like maybe some, you know, large animals, maybe just a couple mm -hmm. of thieves. She wasn't expecting the first thing to start attacking us to be the undead. So she's kind of a little unnerved, but her uh, desire to protect Ovi at all costs, like she said she would, is uh, strengthening her resolve to at least keep a little bit of a calm nerve. All right. As to what she's going to do exactly, she's going to yell at Obi. <laughs> Protect yourself. I believe in you. So, what this is saying it allows me to do is she can tell somebody, in this case Obi, who she can either hear or have be, or be heard by, to use a reaction to attack a target uh, and also says, uh, yeah, the creature can immediately use its reaction to make one weapon attack, adding the superiority die to the attack's damage roll, which is a Mm-hmm. So Obi gets another attack, and if it hits, it gets another D8. Over this dark anvil, I didn't see you hit hard enough last time. Okay. And I need to get out of here right fucking now. An 11 
However, it still has an acted. You do have advantage on it still. A 23 will hit for 9 yeah. plus sneak attack plus a d8. And now you roll a d8. So that is 29 damage. Which is enough to take it out. Yes! That now was way too out. happy and aggressive. Opie's like, I almost died one time. I'm not doing this shit again. <laughs> and Moira made sure of it. Now everybody get the fuck out. Two more. Uh... <laughs> and then I'm just gonna head my turn. Moira still has her movement if she would like to move. She's just gonna stay behind Obi. <laughs> Gives him a pat on the shoulder, like, good job, honey. Draxus, it's your turn. All right. Make me an attack roll. Perky, you don't just aim for a man's balls. A 20... Y'all... Y'all's dice is on fire today. A 26 will hit. For nine damage. This oh, you said you were going to divine smite. Yes, right? It's because or... you, you... You threatened our lives. Yeah, apparently. Uh, for 29 damage... The payback for making for me have the attic asthma attack earlier. No, it the, the Overlord video put the fear of God into me endurance. Uh, it is still up. A thirteen will miss as you swing. It seems to wink out of existence. And you think, yeah, I killed it, and then it just pops back up. Bitch, you thought. Uh, no, you still have your bonus action. Uh, you sure. think so, yeah. All right. All right. At the end of your turn, you hear something moving. Yep. Baby just hatched, and now it's hungry. Chris, it is now your turn. Oh, shit. Hang on, wait. I gotta... I didn't realize that I was trapping a Zelly in the bedroom. Okay. Well, well, she decides what she's doing. Cool. Um. All right. I can't see anything from where I am. So, excuse me. Part of me coming through. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Excuse me, just gonna stand on top of you for two seconds. Um, it would help if I could read my fucking character sheet. I'm gonna hit up with my quarter staff. All right, hit it with your quarter staff. Boop. If the boop misses. Okay, and again. As you go to swing right. at it, it disappears and then reappears. Yeah, Thank you it. got two attacks. Oh shit, Dreadful Blast Strike is supposed to be on there, but it doesn't hit, so it's fine. Does not hit. 
You move back. Love that. Uh, I move one step back. All right. It dies. It had one HP. No matter what would have happened, it would have died. Lothar, it's your turn. Guardian Spirits for the win. Um, before we do it, though, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. All right. Bring out the bonker. All right. Brought it out. No, because I'm going to use it because that's the one wisp in the way. It's on one up right now. Uh, I'm going to swing on it. Uh, Spiritual weapon's going to swing. All right. Swing that spiritual weapon. It misses. As the spiritual weapon goes to slam into the Will-O-Wisp, it seems to dip out of the way just in time. What do you do? Uh, knowing that something's coming from behind us, I'm I'm not going up the stairs yet. I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. Also, um, I just realized the music hasn't been playing for whatever reason. I know uh, I've been playing like just Pandora for just so I don't waste shit. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot out with a light crossbow. All right, make a shot at it with your light crossbow. I didn't make it either. Hot damn! All right, I'm done. Why are you not playing? I am playing. I'm right here, dude. Not playing on my end. It's not really here, but I did turn it down. It's weird. On certain browsers, it just decides to stop working every once in a while. And then, yeah, it's weird. Strange. All right. Uh, It's okay. Pandora is, like, killing it right now. You hear shambling and scraping of bone and what sounds like almost... Oh, actually, Obi and Moira, since you have Moira with you. It sounds like leather. Old leather scraping against stone. And the clack of bone against stone as well. As it goes... Uh, dashes. No. Five. No. He needs to make a wisdom save. It's a baby. It can't have wisdom. It fails. It does fail. Roll some damage, Lothar. See, Lothar almost got impaled again. Uh, it takes 11 damage. Uh... Has to go around. I know it doesn't. <laughs> His spiritual weapon doesn't take place. Uh, <laughs> so, ba 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 ba, dude, gets to here. Uh, as yeah. it's not like climbs up and around and like half flies, half drags its uh, corpse body towards the party and is now looming over Triss about to strike Ginkgo it is your turn and yes that is with its movement reduced by a spirit guardians I was assuming that (laughs) I I thought you took it into place I wasn't going to say anything 
I just wanted to. Anyway, I, I, got it. I, I I assumed. Um, yeah. I'm activating my Eldritch tattoo. All right. Now everything I do. Oh, sorry, my button got unclicked. Everything with my Eldritch. Once I have activated my tattoo, everything is now a magical weapon, right? Yes. Uh, normally, it's just your unarmed strikes that get that ability. Uh, now it's all your strikes that get that ability once it's activated. Okay. Um, and then I, I just, I, I, I also thought just, just trying to remember, um, the staff of bird calling is that considered a magical weapon, right? It is technically considered a magical weapon, yes. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, because I was like, I was telling Brian, I was like, I think it's a magical weapon. Okay, um, so I'm going to, so I have my claw tattoo, so I have a 15 foot radius, one second, I have to do this on two, two devices. Here, I'll create a little thing for you, that way you get a feel for how big your radius is. Uh, we will make your aura a gray like your fat uh, gray probably won't show up. Uh, very well. Uh, we'll make it red, like the blood you're about to spill. That's fair. That is your range of attack. I'm gonna attack from here. Oh, no. Sorry, so I, I've only moved two spaces so far. Actually, I can move where Obi is. That would still be you're, two you're a monk. You can move, yes. Alright, I assume you're trying to boot things. Well, I was going to move here, get, get onto the stairs, and then just start whacking away at the Draco Lich thing, whatever it is. All right. Make your wax. Nope. Somebody left. Who did a leave? That would have been the uh, barb. Why did the barb leave? Paladin, is everything okay? A 17 to hit this monstrous beast succeeds. All right. I am then going to use a key point and do. You have two like, attacks. Two attacks, yes. Unless you were going to say you wanted to use a key point for something else. No, I was going to do um, Flurry of Blows. But I was like, oh no, I still get a still get a second attack before I have to use a key point. A 14 does not succeed. Okay, I'm still going to then do a Flurry of Blows. You cannot, because you use your bonus action to activate your tattoo. Oh, that's right, thank you. I forgot that. Oh, wait, wait, let me see here. I can do something with key points. One second. I want to do a stunning... I want to use do a stun, use the, the, the hit I landed as a stunning strike. All right. Uh, roll your uh, stunning strike so I can see what the con save is. Oh, it's it's not a roll. It is. Um, I have to add it up one second. I believe it's fourteen, but I'm double checking. A fourteen. Uh, it succeeds with an eighteen. Rose. Not... At the end of your turn, it is going to attack Triss. Love that. As it uses a legendary action. Yep. Triss mm -hmm. does a natural 20 hit. Yep. Triss, you are going to take 
14 points of slashing damage. Actually, we're all pretty low on damage. Thankfully. As the beast seems to move with unnatural speed, defying logic of turn order. The Will-O-Wisp starts its turn and needs to make a wisdom save. It does not succeed. Would you like to roll some damage? I do. It dies. You dealt exactly amount the amount of damage it needed. Hell yeah. This Don't is my Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians is so good, guys. I'm so, I just be, I'll be, I'll be real with you guys. It's you literally thing. just destroyed it. It's like, I'm gonna get you guys. Obi, it is now your turn. Let's have a go, guys. It is now the seven of you against an undead dragon. Can I ask one quick, quick question? Does my yeah. spiritual weapon count for flanking at all? No, it does not. I didn't think it did, but you know, it was one of those like, eh, check. Obi, it is your turn. What does the Obi wish to do? As Obi and Moira see a Dargan. To adventuring, Moira. Have an undead dragon. <laughs> Welcome to adventuring. We're Thursdays, we almost get killed, and Fridays we drink to life. <laughs> we drink to life, and what is left of it? I said a joke with Eva. Exactly. I was like, I was like, damn it! I retracted my Draco Lich thing. I should not have retracted my Draco Lich thing. I was like, it can't be that obvious, right? All right, what are we have, it, guys? Well, we're 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 damned. You do damned. You don't right now, guys. We are we're at the crux of this situation. Just want to hightail it out of here. Or try to kill a thing. I'm, 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 if we run, does it follow? Probably. Yeah, it's probably faster than any of us can move. And I'm pretty sure it can it can make it up up whatever this spiral stair is going up. Yeah, I have a feeling it can please. <laughs> Obi, what are you doing? Trying to figure uh. out. Do okay, you stand in there? I. Instead of trying to figure out where the fuck to put my token at. And Obi, don't forget to add your uh, your plus one. Yeah, the hit. plus one. Yep. Yeah, yep. So you can stand on top of us. You just can't end your turn on top of us. All right. That is also an acceptable place to stand. Okay. That's an 18 to hit for 7 damage. That succeeds and deals 7 damage. Plus sneak attack. You have an ally within 5 feet. Or 15 damage total. No, the sneak wasn't high, but it was still damage. Yeah. yeah. At the end of your turn, it's going to lash out at you. It turns and seems to slash towards you, Obi. Once again, defying the logic of turn order in video games and tabletops. Yay. Legendary actions. Mm, Does a natural word. one hit? Oh, no. <laughs> Too extreme. Hey. He caught the claw on his teeth, like, haha. -ha. Yep. I mean, it wasn't going to hit me for full damage anyway. I have a cannon. Can he dodge? Yep. I can just say, right. oh. Yeah, playing a rogue. Scarlet, it is now your turn. Okay. 
Um, I am gonna move up some. Fight the undead with the undead, rush up there and swing out with your sword. That's a rug. Okay, I'm gonna just like. Hold on. I need to like check and see what I got real quick. Uh, don't forget your great axe was damaged in that last fight, but you've got that great sword that we gave you. I know, I was just checking to see if I could do this like one ability real quick. We say you didn't say which uh, barbarian rage you're going into. Wait, I have multiple. You have maul, claw, and tail. Tail. Okay, so you have the ability to attack from a distance with your tail, or get yourself more armor. Oh wait, didn't you say you finished statting out her uh, whip sword? I did, but she does not have it because she has to go back to it and grab it. Oh, I thought we were going with the, like, oh, she has it, and just until you finish starting it out. Nah. Okay, so I have, like, I'm raging, and I kind of want to do Reckless Attack. For some reason, my brain's like, do it. But it says I can only do it on my first turn when I attack. So since I attacked on the Wisp, even though I killed it... It doesn't say that you can attack on your... It, uh... Not on the first turn. Okay, on my first attack, but, like... So, since I killed it, what, could I do Reckless Attack on this one, since I have... Yeah, it, it's, a, it? it's, a, it's a new turn. Okay. So, I am gonna run up with my great sword, try to swing his head with, like, my Reckless Attack, and pray to God I don't die. Alright. So, you're gonna run up to it. You've dealt... You've moved one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, because you're barbarian, you have eight move. Uh, yeah, you can do that. If you'd like to make your two attacks, you're using your great sword. So you get advantage if you'd like to reckless this. Yes, I'm going to reckless this. All right, you get advantage. Make your two attacks. Advantage. Twenty-five hits and a twenty-two will hit. Yes. For twenty-one damage. Let's go. Look it's at me being useful for once. Strong. Now, where are you ending your turn? Because you can't end your turn there. You gonna go back to where you were? Yeah, I'm gonna, like, go right back, yeah. Like, right there. Alright. Alright. Moira. What's Moira doing? Nagging us. Uh. She's, uh, getting increasingly concerned as we're still in this cave. And now there's a giant undead baby dragon. So, uh, currently not in the greatest of attitudes. Ginko, you're up next! And she is going to use Commander Strike on Ginko. Ginko, you get one free strike as your reaction if you'd like to use it. Like now, out of turn? Yes. Yes, it's what she does. I do that? Yeah. Then add a D8 to your attack roll. Or damage roll, not attack roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get one free attack. A 12 will not hit, however. Damn it! Well, yeah, we're not flanking it, are we? No, 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 we're not. Sorry, I'm just looking at everything. Shit! Uh... Unfortunate. It was worth a try, dearie. Yeah, I like how y'all are surprised. Moira says, screw the turn order. She's like, what's turn order? Fuck it. And... Why Why are you all just sitting around? Hit it. But it's not our turn. Turn? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
then just add uh, Edgar. Draxus, it is your turn. Okay, he's going to use Channel Divinity to get advantage on his attack rolls. Alright, so you're vowing your enmity towards it. Step up, Divine Smite, and swing twice. Alright. Get you boop on. An 11 will miss. That was garbage. A 14 will miss. That was double garbage. As you attempt to smack at it twice, your vow of enmity seems to not carry your blade into it. And narratively, I'll tell you why. on top of Triss. As you get a proper look at this thing, it seems that it actually no, it would have it wouldn't have been. Never mind. You just you suck. You didn't hit. Congratulations. Bad day. Uh Triss, it is your turn. Is there a spot I can stand? Like can I can I still hit him from here if I move to here? No. You cannot. I don't want to move through him, because that slows me down. I'm away from him, but it's still going. Yep. Uh, Trist, <laughs> it's your turn. Yep. Um, I, I, I bap it. You're going to bap it with your staff? Uh, I want to draw for a sword. I'm going to use my staff. Alright. Bap. That, that hits. Bap. That does not hit. That does not hit. For 10 damage total. Was that with Hunter Strike and Dreadful? Hunter's Mark and Dreadful Strike? You didn't use Hunter's Mark. It's, it's yet turned to, on. You still need to use your bonus action to activate Hunter's Mark. So it would have been a 3. It's an 8 total. Yeah, you need to use your bonus action on your turn to cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. Can I do that now? The you can do that time? now. Yep. With Obi there, I can't that read not the writing. For her? No. It, it does not. It be on the other side. Oh, okay, so it's yep. not just being in proximity. Okay. No, so mm -hmm. it's basically if you can draw a straight line through it. Yep. I can help him with All sneak right. attack, because I'm within five feet. But not flanking. Yes. Correct. Maybe I moved Lothar, it is your turn. Alright, let's go ahead and just start out real quick with just the spiritual weapon swing. Alright. <clears throat> Use my bonus action for that. Ah, uh, that was the wrong thing oh, entirely. I was, was going to say, that's a wisdom save. Uh, yeah, natural 20 will hit. Let's go. Roll me some damage. Eleven force damage. Now, but it's crit though, so. Uh, yeah. Roll me another D eight. Better than sharp stick in the eye. Yeah. So 13 damage total with that bonus action. All right, what are you going to do for your action? I say F this bitch and guiding bolt. <laughs> okay. Roll me an attack with guiding bolt. I'm what going level? to use a second level spell for it. Okay, so that's what, 66 or 5d6? Uh, well, or is first, it D8? it's D6s. Okay. And I think it's six, but I gotta hit first. Guiding Bolt. Also, <laughs> ridiculously good. <laughs> Unfortunately, that does not hit. 
no. I tried. Change your dice color. Uh, you still have your movement. You staying or are you gonna? I'm staying. I'm staying. All right. It's now it's turn. It needs to make wisdom save. It does not succeed. Would you like to roll some damage for me? Turns out babies that are also undead do not have high wisdom. Yeah, sorry. I accidentally, because I, I have the push to talk thing, I accidentally uh, cleared my entire name in my character sheet, so I had to retype real quick. But yes, <laughs> I'll do that. Can you mention the fact you're doing necrotic damage and something that bones? It's radiant or necrotic. Yep. So, it's 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 radiant if you're good and you choose angelic, and then it's necrotic if you're um, evil. And it's also radiant if you're neutral. Depends. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yep. Yeah, if you're fighting an angel, you're not going to be using holy magic against it. So when we go up against Solar, because you and I fucked up somehow. Um... All right. 14 damage. That's a chunk of damage. That was a really good. That was a really good 3d8. <laughs> yeah. All right. It is now it, uh, it on its turn. I need each and every one of you to make me a Constitution saving throw. Can I say no? Draxus, you fail. Can I use my inspiration to reroll that? Uh, you can. Obi, you fail. Moira, you succeed. Uh, Chris, you succeed. I'm trying to find where mine's at. Dress, you still fail. Lothar, you fail. Gink, no, you fail. So Moira and I'm gonna, wait. I'm gonna use my inspiration as well to reroll. Wait, um, wait, what are, where, where is it located? Left side uh, under your Lothar, proficiency you bonus. Fail. Just hit constitution. to do a deep breath. So far, there's I don't been... Wanna... Uh, you also fail. So only Trix and Scarlet are succeeding on this. Moira. Or, yeah, sorry. Trix and Moira are succeeding on this. Scarlet, you fail, but Scarlet, you succeed. Yeah. All right. I need everyone to take, with the exception of Triss and Moira, 22 necrotic damage. Doesn't my um, rage save me, though? Your rage is bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Does Uncanny Dodge still work on this? Un Canny dodges on attack rolls. What did it do? It breathed on you. But it doesn't have lungs. It is zombified enough where it has lungs still, but not rotted fully away. So it's called rot breath. Off. Is the ability. So I'm gonna throw this thing a tick tack. Yep. I'm at four right now, y'all. Triss, Moira, you take 11 each. You succeeded. But, okay, question. Yeah, what's up? So, since Scarlet technically doesn't it need still to does breathe, damage. Like, I think we need water. to run away. Damn it! <laughs> yes, let's run. I'm not dying today. I'm never dying. Triss. Let go. No. Does a natural 20 hit? Yes. I don't have any more hit points to lose. Wait, wait, wait. I just had a thought. Thank you. I need to How much damage this. Oh, wait. Take. Never mind. You said that was necrotic, um, not poison damage, right? That is correct. Necrotic damage. Uh, Triss, you take 41 damage. I'm, I'm, that's 
almost that's almost my hit points. Yes. I'm a, I'm down. You are now on death saves. Yeah. Obi. Does a twenty five hit? Yes. Obi. You take eleven points of slashing damage. You can un can he dodge this? Okay. Uh, rounded oh. down, so you'd take five. Someone could carry me and get me the hell out of here. That would be fantastic. Ginkgo, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Um, I am going to hit it. Right. And I'm also going to do stunning strikes. All right. All right. You can do four attacks this turn. A 17 will hit. For 10 damage, roll me. Are you doing stunning strike this turn? Or this time? Yeah, for that attack, I'm going to do stunning strike. And it is just, um, a, I think it's a 14 con save. It succeeds. Gross. Okay. Get a big chunker. And that one does not hit. Okay, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do Flurry of Blows using one key point. All right. And if either right, of so length ends, I'm gonna do a Stunning Strike and try again. Alright. You're unarmed as a D6 now at level 5. A 24 will hit. For 13 damage. It fails its con save. Sweet, then my next unarmed is gonna be at advantage. Because it's dead. Oh. Okay. Describe <laughs> to me what Ginko uh... does to re-kill this thing. I, I, I just wanna I just wanna point out real quick. We're high fiving each other. And that high five of oh it's dead was like the most lackluster killing of an undead dragon I could have ever have imagined. Said, because she, it's dead. She she holds up her hand going, Oh, I didn't do the thing. And I'm like, it's it's fucking dead. What 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 what's the problem here? Fuck it. As I go just, just I for shits and point. giggles, I also rolled its con save on that. It also passed on the con save on that. So, to me, this is, like, extremely funny because I was, I'm was listening to Pandora mm -hmm. because my music isn't working. And, you know the song where it says you mess with the wrong bitch in the wrong error? That, mm -hmm. That's what it was saying as Ginko killed this dragon. So I just picture, like, a small bird killing this massive undead dragon while, like... Oh, wait. Actually, I do need to roll something else, because it is a zombie. Yeah. Uh, you dealt 13 damage, right? Yeah, for that one attack. I still have another attack. Yep. Uh, it does succeed. It's at one hit point. Cool. I still used a key point to do a double it to do a second yep. attack. And you said it was stunned, though, right? It, it is not it, stunned. But you said it failed its... Um... Because it, I was making a joke because it, it would have oh. died. Okay. It did not die. Undead Fortitude. Sag. You do get an extra attack, though. One more attack. Um, fuck it. Um, I'm gonna... Can I, is there any way that I can move where I'm flanking the dragon? Uh, you have 40 moves, so that's 5, move. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yes, you... No. Uh, yes, you can take you 25 I'm gonna, move i'm gonna do that i don't i you, i can't see all of them okay yep i'm doing it i'm gonna do that so i get advantage on this attack all right all right a 21 will hit roll some damage are you gonna try to stun it again yeah or are you out of key point no that, I, that would be my last key point 
All right, so that is 7 plus 6, that's 13. It fails its con save for the stun and succeeds its con save for staying up. It is still at one hit point. Stun. Okay, someone gets it, and then someone... I was going to... Uh, see, if I didn't have to do another attack, I was going to use that last key point and do a healing touch on... Uh, or, you know, a, a monk heal on Triss, but... Fuck, guys, I'd use my key points. Someone got to I, 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 I can heal Triss. All right. The zombie dragon, at the end of your turn, is going to turn towards you, Ginkgo. I thought... Wait. But it's stunned. It got stunned. And to do nothing, because it's stunned. Okay. <laughs> Obi, you see down next to you, Triss is dying. What do you do? It depends. Answer my question. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about question. me. Kill the uh, monster first. You, you got a cleric. Just kill the thing. Yep. Oh, are like, you I haven't something? rolled any death saves yet. Oh, I had already so. sent it to you like four my, minutes ago. My apologies. Um, uh, the answer is no, they don't. Right. So... Here's what's going to happen. Obi, you feel the pull of your god. Your patron. So, Obi seeing Triss laying <laughs> almost dead at my feet. You see Obi extend his arm out towards Triss's direction. And his hand starts to glow. Specifically, it's a dim gray sort of light. Neither holy nor dead. And Obi is going to cast your wound. However, Instead of having to roll, you simply get 8 health back because... Plus your spellcasting ability. Uh, I didn't even see what that is. Uh, what's your wisdom modifier? Uh, wisdom mod is plus 2. So, 10 hit points. And try and find it. Because of sort of circle of mortality. If I were to heal somebody who's at zero hit points, you'd instead use the highest number possible for each die. So now we know the level you took. Well, I do. Do I get ten hit points? You just get yep. ten hit points back. There is no roll. You just immediately... Because Obi, o because Obi went Grave Domain Cleric. Yep. Obi... Uh, because I like to flavor uh, everything, is there anything special that Triss might experience as you rip her from the jaws of death with your magic? Is it the flaw? I will let you flavor whatever you wish to flavor. I mean, we all remember when Drax has brought me back. What happened when Jaraxxus brought you back? You were fine. Right. So, because of the deity I have made a pact with, receiving this healing, you are overcome with this sensational desire that nothing is never enough. You always need more. His greed is good. Will this fade, or is this a forever thing? It, it, it will fade. But Triss, you can't die yet. There's so much that you can collect. So much money you could have. Why would you die now? You open your eyes. Turn You're alive. Your eyes with a gasp. Obi, is there anything else that you'd like to do with your bonus action or movement? 
Uh, I think Obi's good for right now. Alright, Scarlet, is your turn. So everything's dead, right? No, no. the dragon is still up. Fuck! <laughs> Have fun. Kill it. This. Literally, y'all oh, can wait. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, actually, Lothar, you took 22 damage. I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Uh, wait, um, what? Loth Lothar, not Scarlet. I... I don't even know what to do, because I don't want to get near that thing. Oh, yeah, Audrey Saltris almost die. It's got one hit Long point. Long it. It's literally stunned. You get advantage. But... I want to yeah, go bite just, it yes. just because Lothar. I fucking can. I want to yeah, go vampire yeah. bite it. Just yeah, because I can. Yeah, you can go vampire bite it. Yeah, figured, can. you know. Yeah, I'm, it's gonna taste all rotten and shit. It it's will. not the first time I ever tasted rotted shit. I mean, look at Jaraxxus. Alright. Uh, Scarlet, you can make your attack roll against it. Angie bite for seven damage. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it automatically succeeds because it cannot... Actually, no. It can roll less than that. So, so it's dead now? It doesn't. No, it's still alive. <laughs> okay, so... I guess I'll just bite it again until it dies. Alright. Do whatever's gonna do the most damage. Okay, I'm Whatever gonna shove, you... I'm gonna <laughs> shove my sword through his neck, like how like the bars are from Frankenstein. Yeah. Okay. Roll me another attack roll. Again with advantage. Twenty-five will hit for thirteen. It still succeeds and is still alive. You are hacking and slashing and ripping and tearing, and it is not going And meanwhile, going down. Mom's getting pissed. I'm gonna, like, and Mom is getting more pissed. I'm just gonna Actually, spit its, like, skin out and be like, bleh. Guys, I don't think this thing's gonna die. You feel the entire dungeon seeming to rumble. Moira, it is your turn. It, did the map supposed to go black? No. Alright. Moira's going to black. Bye. And then yell at Jaraxxus to make an attack and kill it off. Jeez, he has to be within attack. five feet. He doesn't have any ranged options. I would suggest so choosing someone else. Uh, I mean, I got okay. a javelin. I could okay. throw. I know some people are probably, like, slightly upset that this thing is, like, not dying, so I'm gonna make y'all feel better. I'm getting biscuits. Aww. My cat I'd is do it. me biscuits. Let, let me, let me, let me, let me hit it. I'm pissed. Alright, gang, er, Triss. Triss would be prone and would have disadvantage. Motherfucker. Never mind. You can still gone. go for it. Uh, but the, no. it stunned, wouldn't it then be just normal? It would be just normal. Oh. Then yes, I want it. Alright. Damn it. A five will not succeed. My computer screen is gonna make me have like an epileptic fit. <laughs> it's flashing so bad. Is that Moira's turn? Uh, yeah. Draxus, it is now your turn. A 14 will not hit. I swear to God. A 27 will hit. For 14 damage. It fails its constitution saving throw to stay alive. 
And, and I killed it with five swords, so it's perma fucking dead. Go to hell. Fuck that dragon. For it to go to hell, it would have needed a soul. Well, the last one dead. Hell is forever, dead, whether dead, you like dead. it or not. And as the dragon dies. Wakes up. Now, can I use my divine oh, sense to see fun. if the big bad dead thing I was sensing? Uh, that would require your action. Oh. You all have one round. Triss, it is your no. turn. I, I want to leave. Alright, you need to spend half your movement to stand up. I pulled her up at the end of my other turn. That would have required an action. Oh, okay. I but, my movement. Still use dash. How, so how can... much movement do I have? I'm going to dash, but... what What is your move? I can't... Why can't I open my sheet? There we go. I have well, 30 feet of movement and 30 feet of fly speed. But you had a but higher I have my speed. flies. Huh? I said I thought I I thought you had a higher move speed. Oh no, you didn't take it. Uh, that there's a ranger ability that gives you an additional 10 feet of movement. I don't think you took that. I don't think so. But I can your... fly, so could I use half my fly speed to get up? You can use half of whatever speed to get up. So that would be 15 fly speed left, and then I have 30 feet of movement still, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, you'd have 15 feet to get up, and then you'd need then you'd have 15 feet of movement. But I can dash. Yes, you can dash, and then it'd give you another 30 feet. Okay, I'm gonna be like, get the fuck out. Five, All right. ten, fifteen. 20, 25, 30, right? I'm, I'm yep. lost. Can you put me at 30? Sure I can. Because I think I'm in a wall. You're off map now. Cool. So that Let's was my go. movement. Can I now take a, a healing potion? As your bonus action? Yeah. Uh, roll me that dice. Uh, fuck. 2d4 plus 2 for your uh, basic Yeah, healing. I have a greater healing and I don't know if I want to take it or not. I'll just take a regular potion. 2d4, you said? 2d4 plus 2. So 5 plus 2. Yep, 7 points of healing. Some of it dribbles down your chin as you quaff it as quickly as possible. Lothar, it is now your turn. What do you do? My dearest friends, I feel like we should expedite our retreat quickly. I'm going to also dash. All right, you get off map. Just delete your token. How do I delete my tokens? You click your token and press backspace. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, cool. I assume all of you are leaving. Fuck yeah. Uh, did the dragon drop anything when it collapsed? I'm running! Not a fucking Not problem. worth it! I'm gonna become <laughs> a track star. Alright, if everyone is dashing to leave, then Ginkgo, are you dashing to leave? I mean, unless someone convinces me not to, then yes, I'm gonna dash to leave. Leave. Okay. The Barbarian Obi. says he's out. She's out. So we all out. Obi, are you leaving? Fuck yeah. But Greed is good. Not Scarlet, that good. are you leaving? <laughs> Fuck yeah. I ain't dying yet. Get me the fuck out of here. Alright. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Okay. I just want to go shopping and to a bank, please. I as you all... An ass. That's all I got. As you all get out of the dungeon, you hear cracking of stone and movement of dirt. As you all get off of the mound, it seems to get up once more. Damn it. I want to find an ancient 
Can we Zombie just like, explode the fucking entrance so it cannot come Do out? Do we have some... It's not... Oh, it is the you? entrance. And as it goes to push itself up to go after you, you realize that that staircase was a giant stake holding it in place. And it cannot move. Okay, if we set this thing on fire, would it die? It might burn the stake it's so that it can't move. That it can move. The giant stake made out of stone. Oh. But if it explodes it... Okay, no, I'm not saying, like, explode it just anymore. I'm just saying, like, set this bitch on fire. Uh, it is... It, it is not a thing I would recommend to stay Leave in it. that vicinity. Leave it. Huh? Book it. We need to go okay, to the bank. Run. run. Hey, guys, Running. this is... Goodbye. Definitely not where I parked my car. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to call Jake from State Farm? I am now show I'm too old now. Uh, I'm going to see myself out. Y'all take care. <laughs> all right, you all get back in your cart, and uh, can I get a drive land vehicles check? Yeah, from do we have you? vehicles? We don't have a cart. Yeah, we do. We were walking. Didn't yeah. you pull a cart up next to it? I thought we got the one thingy from the gnomes or the goblins. No, we oh, didn't well, get that thing. No, when we went back to Fandolin, we I thought we got use of another one, did we not? Yeah, you got use of another one. I thought we were walking this whole way. I thought we were going to never went to get a cart, but okay, I ain't complaining. All right, land right, vehicle. Uh, uh, what, what attribute? Uh, we'll call this dexterity. You sure you want? You sure you don't want to call it strength? Because I'm muscling it, right? Maybe, maybe wisdom because I'm so wise at it. Yeah, I I could do dexterity. Yeah, but I'm. Oh, but I don't have land vehicles. So yeah. Fine. All right, yeah. so dexterity then. This would be dexterity. I really don't do want, want to do it. like a mass healing word. No, I don't because I don't have another level three spell slot. Okay, available. so we just want to get somewhere safe. Yeah, we're trying to get the fuck out. Can right. I cure wounds myself? Yeah, you can. Uh, with a real, I have a greater healing one. potion. Who needs it? Or sorry, an eighteen because you're definitely not getting a. Yeah, uh, that's fair. Yeah, guidance in this with an eighteen. You would be able to get out just in time as a spew of acid hits the back of the cart, but just barely out of range of hitting any of you. You're all fucking welcome. As you all are able to continue on your uh, journey to Neverwinter, as it seems you have awakened something primal and ancient... I mean, of course we did. It's a normal Friday. It's usually that happens. It was a tourist attraction, I promise. <laughs> a tourist attraction. We were just trying to shop at the new tourist can, attraction. Can, can, can we just make a pit stop and make camp somewhere? I really yes. I really would appreciate the hell out of all that. Far enough away from the... Uh, yeah, like, let's get a significant okay, distance. Since, since it's, like, calmed down a little bit, can I go make friends? No. I am kidding. I am joking. Uh, what I did I tell you, that. babe? I literally walked into the room, sword on the screen, and went, fuck. Scarlet's gonna want to befriend that. <laughs> um, hey, hey, guys? We're related. We're both undeadish. Um, literally it's... hyperventilated to where I had an asthma attack over yeah, seeing that on did. the screen. He did. <laughs> We thought you were joking. I thought yeah, so. because I didn't want to ruin it for you. <laughs> so, did you see the undead dragon down below, or? So, yeah, it so... literally, all he had pulled up on the screen was a picture of an undead, a, a zombie dragon. So, and then I he's like, there... "You see nothing," and slowly exited out of, out of all of his tabs, which were like the stat block, the token that he'd made, the the map, and I was like, <gasps> "Yeah." So I sit there and I was like, oh, this all sounds like a Dracolich. And legitimately, my first thought was, 
There's no way we're fighting a Draco Lich at this level. That's fucking no. horrible. It's a zombie dragon. And and, and that's a, well, yeah, Draco Lich. Yeah, that's yeah. The yeah. Draco, Draco Lich can fly. The zombie dragon can't. Okay, so that's at least a little bit better. I think. They they both can fly. Oh well. We we're just in a cavern, so. Yeah, you were in a cavern. But the thing is, yeah, is I'm right. I'm sitting there thinking, but I was like, there's no way we're fucking fighting that thing right now. Yeah, see, um, I was wrong. I, I didn't hey know I didn't know specifically what was gonna go on. Okay, but everybody, Lothar or the DM is trying to speak for a half two minutes. <laughs> I would like you all to say hello to your new BBEG for the ender of the campaign, Ebon Death. How about no? You mean in the campaign we're gonna be level twenty, right? Because the undead great worm black dragon. I'll just send myself Ancient. now. <laughs> like I'll just, I'll just, just, just do it now. Okay, it's fine. You go back it's gonna end in the go same way. Her. Um, as for Lothar, would Lothar want to make a camp? No. Knowing that no. Nope. In existence, nope. or are nope. you going to push it to Neverwinter? Well, I'm at least wanting to get to the gates, like to the you, you, you know, what I'm saying, like medieval outer gates. I mean, I'm just I, I'm, saying, every thirty minutes, I can use five healing, um, like healing monkeys. You rest, you okay. rest in the cart. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and just start handing out heals. You get a heal, and you get a heal, and you get a heal. Be nap for thirty minutes. You get a heal. Like that's just that's what's going on this entire car ride. Yeah. Put a mark on the map where he's at so we can avoid him. Uh, Lothar. Her. Yeah. Mama. I need you to make me four Constitution saving it. throws to be able to, because you you have to stay awake and you have to be controlling this cart. The rest of everybody can rest. I need four saving throws from you to see how exhausted you will be by the time Neverwinter approaches in eyesight. I can do better than that. It's a pass. Let me zoom in. Can him and Ginkgo like switch off? Like Ginkgo's like he's not gonna get as much speed, but Does Ginkgo have drive land vehicles? Or land vehicles? Oops. No. I saw uh I deleted was the teaching party them. token. Or I mean I thought Lothar was teaching your axes. Uh yes, but he's not there yet. Okay. Well, that's two. Yep. Can I not use guidance on these? Uh, no, because it's a long-term check, not a single check. Well, look, I figured, but, you know, hey. And guidance is checks, not saves. Three. Four. Adrenaline is pumping through you so hard that you, you gain no exhaustion. You have no that. idea what I was saying out loud in this room. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just like, please, like, I got two of them where I was like, oh, please, dear God. And then I got the last one, I was like, oh, God. So that's why it took me so long to roll. It wasn't that I wasn't ready. I was hovering over the button. I just couldn't As do it. you get to Neverwinter, you, like, behind you, finally see it break free of that stake oh. and start flying. You are at the gates of Neverwinter. Well, never mind. My skull and crossbones does not work now. No, no, leave it there because I, I did, go back and look I the hole. did appreciate it. Thanks. As you get to the gates of Neverwinter in the middle of the night, the guards would have said something until they saw a giant dragon break out. And then they're they just kind of like, that? uh, yes, it's a great worm. Ugh. Let us in, 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 let us in. Who, who would like to, uh... For the, for, the, for the record, no, I'll take over this, because I'm driving this thing, and I'm at four hit points. I am not looking good. 
No, I've been doing healing touches on everyone. Okay. As as you get to the gates, who is speaking to try to get the uh, get I'll, the guards to let you? I'll in? speak. King All right. Over here. All right. Make me. Uh, what do you say? My dear, we have just come over from there, and there is a giant um, dead dragon that has risen from its death in its bowels of hell. We need interest in here, and we need to speak to the king's god immediately. This is a die of importance. Make me a persuasion check. With a 20, I assume you're able to cast guidance as you pull up. Uh, yeah, they just kind of look at each other, nod, and they are going to, uh, they're going to ask if you have identification, because they're not dumb, but they seem eager to let you in. Uh, what do you know? Nope. I immediately flash, um, my Order of the Gauntlet pendant. That alone allow, would allow you in, even without the persuasion. I was gonna say, Ovi is a traveling blacksmith for Winston Neverwinter, so they would recognize him. They would recognize you, but you're with a party of who are these people? Also, I I said Ebon Death. I'm pretty sure Ebon Death is a dude. I'd have to double check that, so I might rename the BBG. I need a drink. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so, no, like, I had no idea exactly how bad the thing in the cave was going to be. I just knew I had a bad sense, because being a grave cleric, I have sense I'm dead. So, uh, when, uh, I was asking Bird, like, is there any, like, undead presence in here? And he showed me the Overlord uh, clip, and was like, right, Obi's going to start shivering and, like, lose, start losing his shit. He's like, we need to leave now. But y'all are like, oh, no, no, look at the cute little wits. Uh, Ebon Death is a dude, so we're just gonna say this is Ebon Death's wife. Mrs. Ebon Death. Mrs. Ebon Death. Uh, I'm going to have to create a new name, because actually I'm pretty sure it might say mates in the references and guides. Ba -ba. Oh god, I need help. I went to go rub my eyes and I looked at the map of the other one here. Mm -hmm. My brain, instead of reading Blue Lake District, it read Bukaki District for some reason. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> Look, my eyes were squinted. It wasn't entirely sure what the fuck it was reading. Uh, does not have a name for the mate. Makes sense. Oh well. Ebon Eb Death has been gender gender swapped. Ebon Death is now a she. I am the GM. This is my world. Just walks. Where did his dick go? I mean, Ebon Death doesn't have a dick. It rotted off. It's a skeleton. I know. I was just making a joke because. Was a boy than a girl. Gender swapped. You know, this is even better now, knowing the fact I didn't uh, chunk out one of its teeth. Yeah, as soon as you mentioned doing that, I was like, no, 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 no. I don't know how this thing gets summoned. I just want to check the hole on the way back to see if I can find my armor. And see if it left anything behind. I feel like the first thing we need to do is find places to shelter for the evening. I'm not sure about how 
y'all feel at the moment, but I'm I'm at my near end of of endurance. Yeah, I've I've been using um way of healing on everyone as we're in the cart because we were what traveling for how long? Uh, a while. Yeah, so, so each one of those square or each one of those hexes uh is six miles. You guys went a day's worth you guys just pretty much went through an entire day's worth of stuff nonstop. Which is why I required four constitution saving throws. And somehow by the graces of Thorm, I did it. <laughs> it's you and that endless tanker to coffee. Yeah, it really 100%. is. 100%. <laughs> yeah. You're I was chugging that. I was, was chugging, chugging that nonsense. I mean, shouldn't that have given him advantage on constitution saves? Like, he was drinking the endless coffee the entire time? Just saying. In future, I, <laughs> I feel mean, like I should. If, even if it advantage, he still succeeded. I have not rolled that well four times in a row in my entire life. It was really good. Uh, but yes, uh, as you find yourself within the walls of safety, Lothar, the adrenaline fades and you are... Ugh. Bedtime. I, technically, it was... Uh, five, six, six rolls in a row, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Because I had land vehicle, then four con saves, and a persuasion. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, on that persuasion, you rolled an 11 on the d20. Yeah, but I also have a plus 8, so... Just saying. Um, so you guys are coming in at the southern gates. So you would most likely come in near the Protector's Enclave. So down here. Um... Obi, who frequents this place, is just going to be like, points them in the direction of the nearest hotel because uh, we're all probably fucking tired, especially Lothar. The nearest tavern? Tavern, yes. Uh, yeah. The city, there could be hotels. Um, that is that is what a hotel is—a tavern. Is there? Is there? A, Do they have continental is, breakfast? Is there a temple of Torm? Uh, I do believe the Hall of Justice is also torn. Let me double check. Kinko is helping to support his husband because his husband is very weary. And so he's just there as like a... You know, just it's necessary. like on our drive we just made. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, the Hall of Justice, while the patron deity is Tyr, they also have Priests of Torm that work there. Ah, tear torn. Like I mean, it's like best buddies. Tear torn, Avatar. No, not best buddies. <laughs> where where is it? I'm I'm looking on the map. It's under the Sleeping Dragon. Hmm? Which is oh okay, uh, Hall of Justice. Okay, yeah. Uh, fitting. If I can actually go there, that would be for me. I would yeah. I, I would rather I would I would rather go there. Gango's uh, gonna join his husband. Uh, yeah, uh, Lothar, you are able to party. go to the Hall of Justice. Um, being a member of the Order of the Gauntlet, as well as a priest of Lothar, or a priest of Lothar, yes, a priest of Lo a priest of Torm. Uh, they would allow you and your party to stay there for free for your time here in Neverwinter. Uh, this is. Um, I'm internally grateful for for the hospitality shown to myself and and, and my com, compatriots in this endeavor. Son, you look like you need a bed. I would. I would greatly appreciate it. We are. We are just. I. Uh, I'm sure that you are seen over the horizon of the. Well, the giant, the dragon which had risen, we had just fleed from there. Uh, we rode uh, 
two days to get here and and I'm I'm quite tired. I would require some rest to uh to recover my strength so we can we can figure out our next steps. Sips a cup of coffee in between each pauses. Yeah, pretty much. Uh of of course. Um the city's gonna be on high alert for the next few bits, so they're probably gonna uh, we're probably gonna have you stay here. Um, here, uh, uh, by the way, this is a, uh, older elven woman who's talking to you. Like, to, ever, to, to the human in the party, you, you think, hmm, this is an elf. To the longer-lived races, you are able act to actually tell, oh yeah, like, they're, they're, their ears are just a little bit longer. They're probably nearing 600. Well, I ain't fucking granny. I thought it was gonna be a younger lady. They seen some shit. Still an elf. Still looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially okay, if it got that timeless body, you know what I'm saying? I guess Scarlet's getting it on with a granny. I apologize. I... I appreciate your advances, but I took an oath of chastity when I, I was hungry. You say that in like the role. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel like I assaulted this woman. It's all right, dear. It's not the first time that I've been hit on. It happens quite often. I'll have you know that I am six hundred, though. You look damn good, <laughs> ma'am. I know. May I, may I please ask your name? NPC name generator go. <laughs> it's, a, it's my pleasure, in NPC name generator go. Uh, I, I am Lothar, the Appalachian Hill people, a faithful cleric of Torm, a devout follower of his word and, and an appreciation of Tyr. Uh, her name is Ember. Like, small, small spark of flame, Ember. <clears throat> well, then you're here in the right place, Lothar. Now, here. Uh, she's going to... Uh, kind of like gesture to some of the uh, initiate clerics and uh, they are going to lead you to the uh, sick bay because they don't have beds for you just yet. Uh, and you are going to be able to all stay the night and definitely rest up. If it's if it's flat, I'll take it. Um, everybody with the exception Perfect. of... Your ass is flat, so there you go. Everybody, with the exception of Obi, because you already leveled up, now hits level 6. Remember, Moira does not level up. She is permanently and forever at level 4. Can I say, guys, other than get on my level 1? They just did. I know, that's why it's... Uh, now I actually have to make a decision about if I want to multi-class or not. Which time I just gained a third level spell. Oh, hey, the music finally changed. Yeah. I'm not here, shit. Right now, I'm getting a Peppo Kids commercial on my thing. So that's great. So, let me see. I'm trying to decide what. Um, do I want to prepare. Oh, let me see how this tongue tongues allows me to also read, right? Uh, can you no, it's uh, no, no, I'm the I'm no, I'm not reading it. It's it's only hear and understand. I can't, I can speak and get to the thing again. Get to the thing. Yeah, Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. 
Oh, character mancer? Yeah. Uh, you would be... Let me pull up your sheet. I mean, am I an improved ranger or a regular ranger? Uh, you're improved. Uh, you are going to want to press the little anvil next to Barbarian 5. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, level six got a new domain feature. Yes. Oh shit, brother. You wanna read out what you get? Yeah, I'm about to. Oh god oh shit, I get War God's blessing. What does that do? <laughs> yeah. Uh, six level, when a creature within 30 feet of you makes an attack roll, you can use your reaction to grant that creature a plus 10 bonus to the roll using your channel divinity. You may make this choice after you see the roll, but before the DM says whether the attack hits or misses. So I can give one of you guys a plus 10 to hit. So one of the things that I do, because I try to keep it fast, I'm not going to ask you every single time do you want to use it. If I say it misses... You can say, hey, I would like to use it. And I'm like, okay, then I'll add the 10 and it'll hit, or it won't. Well, realistically speaking, if if they roll a 15, and you, yeah, because if you say it misses at that point, I'm going to use it, because if it misses also a 25, we're just generally fucked anyways. Um, so I looked up the uh, name of Ebon Death, because humans and other races choose to give dragons names because their actual names are word spaghetti. You want to hear what Evan Death's actual name is? Sure. Go it. Chardon Sarah Vitriol. That's a mouthful. Welcome to fantasy, guys. But you know, you I want, get faster. Do y'all want to hear real. some? Do y'all want to hear something really awesome? I could use Channel Divinity twice a day now. I know that may not seem exciting to you guys. As the silence hit me, but like I, I think it's really awesome. It it is really good. It is really really good. You know what I'm very surprised on. What? Your Lothar was fighting an undead and didn't use turn undead. I was out. I had already used my uh, my one for the day because I regained a spell. So Trust question. me, I wanted to. I wanted to. What you, what's your question? What's bestial soul? Bestial soul. It's a beast barbarian thing. I know, but what does it do? Because I don't really understand because I thought it was just my rage, but apparently I got a bestial soul. Let me read. Bestial soul, beginning at 6th level, so this is on top of what you already do. Okay. Uh, the, the feral power uh, within you increases, causing the natural weapons you form uh, of the form of the beast to count as magical for the purposes of overcoming resistance and immunity to non-magical attacks and damage. You can also alter your form to help you adapt to your surroundings. Whenever you finish a short or long rest, you can choose one of the following benefits, which lasts until you finish a short or long rest. You gain, you gain a swimming speed equivalent to your walking speed, and you gain the ability to breathe underwater. Or... You gain a climbing speed equal to your walking speed, and you can climb difficult surfaces, including upside down on ceilings, without needing to make an ability check, which you already do, because you're a vampire. Yee. Or, a mermaid. or, when you jump, you can make a strength athletics check and extend your jump by a number of feet equivalent to the check's total, which you can only do once per turn. So you get mad hops. I become an anger bunny! You become an angry bunny. So, 
quick question. If I am multi-class in the Barbarian, it says you can't cast spells when raging, but would that still ca uh, count for, like, my smites and stuff? Your Divine Smite is a feature, not a spell, so you can still smite while anger. But not the Searing Smite or Thunder Smite. Yep, it has to just be Divine Smite. Okay. Alright, I'm leveled up, let's go. I think I'm gonna multi-class into Druid. Alright. I was looking at the Ranger, and I don't really see anything super interesting. Yeah, Ranger doesn't really get a lot of things until, like, super late level. And even then... Right. Just... What are you talking about? I'm waiting for level 10 right now on Cleric. I'm glad you went, because I was about to uh, multi-class into Druid, but then I was like, oh, listen no, to no, no. Merciful 6. Both both of you can multi-class into Druid if you so wish. Because I oh, can't no, I really know. see anything, because is it the Revised Ranger is what I am? Uh, you are Revised Ranger. Because it just says Greater Favored Enemy, but I can't find anything about that. Alright, you know, so... That, that thing. Uh, at level 6... I, that's all I do. Uh, ba, uh... Your favored foe, which is the, uh, it's <laughs> Hunter's Mark, but not Hunter's Mark, goes from mm -hmm. a D4 to a D6. Yeah. Um, let me, actually, let me check your sheet right quick. You're not still in Character Mancer, are you? Because if I check it now... I am, but cancel it, because I haven't done anything. Okay. You might need to cancel it. I mean, when you're fully out of it. I... Hot. Alright. I'm not doing it. Nope, I'm not. You can't just cancel. press cancel? It won't let me. Just card and exit. There we go. All right, let's see. You chose favored enemy rather than favored foe. So that does change stuff. At level six for favored enemy, uh, you choose an additional favored enemy as well as an associated language. So you get to choose another thing to be racist against. <laughs> After this, dragons. Uh, then you just magically also gain the ability to speak dragon, so you can cuss them out in their native draconic. language. Then you I get an additional draconic. language on top of that that is not draconic. I, has anybody watched Sweet Tooth? No. Don't, like the okay. first like, two episodes. And then only Perky's probably gonna get this. You know the bird in Sweet Tooth, babe, that squawks, and it says every time it squawks, it's cussing something out? Yeah. That's all I can hear from Tris cussing out a dragon. I can already cuss out a dragon. That's why I was able to tell uh, Venom Thing that we were broccoli. Yep. Uh, or not. Easy way you know. to tell what you gain by taking the, the multi class. Like, I know I, it would only be first level barbarian, but what do I exactly gain from that? It just says rage and unarmored defense. But in other areas, it just says, oh, you get three spells, this and that, but it doesn't say what. Oh. Exactly. You might not want to take barbarian. Why is that? You can't rage in heavy armor. Oh, okay. That's that, okay. I did not know that. Okay, that's not even an option at all. Okay. Unarmored defense would be completely wasted because, yeah. Because like, you also need dexterity. <laughs> yeah, see, I was just thinking rage. Okay, that'd be nice for a big fight, half the damage on top of already having heavy armor. But if I can't rage, period, having heavy armor, then never mind at all. Yep. Like, I was it's thinking. Kind of uh, like, I was like, okay, Warlock, but it's like, okay, you get these three spells, but what are the options? What do I get? Oh, you want Eldritch Blast, and what was the other one, honey, for Warlock? That, like, is, like, you want, want, want. Was it Hex? Well, yeah, Hex and Eldritch Blast is Warlock, and it's basically, that's it. And then everything else you do is just based around giving yourself 
Better Eldritch Blast, and that's it. Yep. Go uh, multi-class and a wizard to get, cast haste on yourself and use Eldritch Blast more. Uh, that wouldn't work. Haste is a weapon attacks. You go. You multi-class into fighter because action surge. Okay, you multi-class into fighter for action surge. By the way, there there is a build that you can do that is disgusting, and I hate it. And I'm totally not going to do it for a character one day. Definitely not. One hundred percent. Definitely would not. never do that. That is crazy. So. <laughs> exactly. Um. It, it relies on action surge. Um, it's action surge. Uh, sorcery points for quicken spell. Oh god, no! I no, I've seen this. Oh shit! No, I've seen. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> the Gatling gun build. Yes, yes, and literally, like you shoot like Eldritch blast at like mass damage like four times in a turn, and it's dumb. It says, well, if I quicken, I can only use cantrips. Good thing I only use cantrips. Pretty much. Okay, I guess I'll just dig into that more and possibly take that level next level. The the funniest thing about Warlock is I remember when Warlock came out in 3.5, because it wasn't, it wasn't a base class, and it came out in Complete Arcana, and people started doing it, and they're like, this feels a little broken. And then we're all like, that is pretty broken. And then when 5th Ed come out, they're like, oh, this is a base class. I'm like, what? And I'm like, they had to have... Mo nope. Nope. They, they Just the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, this this is what uh, that build does, what I'm about to roll. That is a turn. That is a single yep. turn. Yep. It's actually a really good roll. I mean, no, there's solid rolls because I mean, I'm, yeah, but it's it's one of those like, yeah, because I, I remember reading about that Gatling gun because I've been trying, I'm trying to like mold myself into the knowledge of five E. Yeah. Um, and so like I've been kind of like figuring things out. We spent we spent a little bit of time on the car ride today because we we're talking about the one shot game, and I was going over like because I was like, oh yeah, I was thinking about this, it's like, and you know, and he was like, oh yeah, it's like. Like, oh, but if I do that with you, I was like, I have like eight different things I want to do right now. <laughs> so I'm literally using everybody else picking what you want to do. And I'll figure it out from there. Now I have a favored one. I told her okay. in the car, I'm not I'm not gonna tell anybody here right now. I mean it. it's wizard. I want to go wizard. I'm I really want to go. Wizard, yeah, we're, Play what we're you want. I, I I'm thinking about going the the uh chronological wizard and then just straight like abusing the uh oh oh yeah no go and roll that save again that's fine oh yeah it's fine just go roll that again but then i was also looking at like because i i woke up in the middle like well not in the middle of that, this morning and i couldn't go to sleep and i just started looking at like different cleric domains too and then i was looking at the peace domain and the arcana domain and i'm like geez this is at, at 20 this is broken I was going to say, I've never seen anyone play an Arcana Domain, but I've seen people ban Peace Domain because it's just broken. Oh, Peace, peace and peace, Twilight peace. are the two, like, instant yeah, and it's like, tables. Oh, Peace Domain. Oh, okay, your uh, Divine Intervention? 100%. Okay. Yeah, just, just ask them what you want. What do I need to multiclass into Druid? Uh, 13 and Wisdom. That's it. Oh. Okay, what about Fighter? Uh, you need at least a 13 in strength or dexterity. Cool. Your All choice. Right. Oh, shit. Well, choice. Okay, no, I'm going Druid. I rolled for it, so I'm going to go Druid. Okay. Um, Perky, are you multi-classing into Barbarian, or are you staying Paladin? Oh, no, I mean, if I can't rage in Heavy Armor, then there's no point. Okay. Probably a good thing, because Paladin at level 6 is, like, cream. Oh, wait, you have low charisma. Never mind. You're on 14 in charisma. That's low charisma for a paladin. It is. 
Yeah, like I got a 16 in Wisdom as a cleric, and I kind of, I'm trying to figure out a way to get it higher. So Paladins, their main strength, their main stat is Strength, their secondary stat is Charisma, and then Constitution, generally. Generally. Seriously. Hmm. Um, oh, take an average. The the reason why they do that is look at your level six ability as a paladin. Uh, where's that at? Uh, I'm already there. Aura of protection. Oh shit! I'm looking at it right now. Oh, uh, speaking of multi-classing. Uh, I would like to take a moment to thank Tris for getting her ass kicked so I could do that. Rude, that was not but you're welcome. That, that was not intentional. What did you say, Tris? I said rude, but okay. No, I've been trying to figure out, like, how do I reveal what I multiclass things? Everyone thinks I took Warlock. And it's like, oh, no. Chris is now making death saves. Like, oh. We thought we thought you were gonna take Warlock, but you. but no, when you when you post that spell though, it said grave domain, so I knew it was cleric. Yeah. But I was afraid you just Brock and I were talking, we're like, if he only did that to just go up a level in rogue, he's like, I'm gonna be pissed. Like, because you're you're, you're like, maybe I just wanted the thing that came with six levels rogue. I was like, motherfucker, if you do, I swear to god, stab you. <laughs> No, I I, uh, I approached him like I mean a God will offer you a deal. Yeah, plus Warlock when levels exist, it, so plus, do cleric levels. Plus, when Avathor initially talked to me, he said specifically he wanted a three. So that is true. So I will say this though, Berkey, that aura protection would have saved some of our asses. So sad. I'm just now reading because I just. Finally decided what other five spells I'm gonna take and never use. What, five spells? What? Yeah, it just had I'm me pick five. five more spells of what I could have, but not actually have prepared any. Oh, that. Oh, okay. I'm about to say because all I got was one more prepared spell. I took oh, it. No. I'm sort of like cycle through these. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll take that. I guess I'll take that. I mean, Brock already has that, but. I made sure yeah, that I you, kept. You uh, Paladins choose their spells at the start of every day. Oh yeah, I know I can switch them around. It was just the fact that like I'm never gonna really use that because Brock always has that. I'm not really gonna always prepare that. Brock already has that. It's not hard well, to I, have I, multiple people. I, I I shift mine around the daily. Like I don't keep like honestly, truly, really, like and I, and I told Bird this too, so you can always look at my sheet. I don't keep the same spells. Now, I always holler them when I'm switching things around. Um, but so right now, Bird, just so you know, like my one and two say the same, but I did adjust since I have three of the third levels. I yep. now have a uh, mass healing word to spell magic and speak with dead. Because I already had speak with dead prepared uh, because yeah. I played Boulder Skate enough and it's fucking broken. It's, um, it's a really good question. Yeah, what's up? So I got Druidcraft. Yeah. Through yes. my other thing. Like I already yeah. had Druidcraft. But now that I've multi I've multi classed into Druid, it says that I have three cantrips, but it already included Druid Druidcraft into one of those. It might have just been counting the fact that you already have Druidcraft. So do I get to pick a third off? The woods, since I already have that one, or do I just have the three? No, you should be able to choose another one after that, because Druid gets three cantrips at level one. Yeah, because it won't let me through character mancy, so I'm going to have to go back and you just get an extra one. Yeah. Congratulations. And, I... and then for level one, can I change, like, take some of my spells away and get other ones? How do you mean? Um, so I already have spells through my ranger yeah. thingy, so can I get rid of those and pick some from the druid list, or do I have to wait until I'm at a different level? 
uh, whenever you take a ranger spell, you have you can change your or a ranger level. You can change your ranger spells. You can change right. two of them because you get a new one and then you can swap one. Uh, but and I whenever you a take, ranger level. Yeah. Uh, okay. However, druids get to change their spells daily. Oh. Well, so, I'm just confused because it it. The cantrip's locked up, and I'm not allowed to pick any more, but the level 1 spells, I can pick others. Hold if on, you want to come here and look. Yeah, let me go in there and look. And the cats are all sitting outside your door. That's fine, they're not coming in. Mom needs some mom time. So how many spells can I have prepared at one time? She it says... Three three. The spells you have prepared is what's on your clear, uh, your uh, your list. Number of things that I could take, but I can pick all these. Oh man, I, I know the ones uh, I prepared are the ones with the dot next to it. You get a uh, number equivalent to your wisdom modifier plus your plus your druid level. So, what's your wisdom? I'm fourteen. So you should be able to pick three. So, yeah. Perky, you have four first levels and two second levels. Don't let them in. Um, because you should have some extra ones due to the fact that you have domain spells from your paladin subclass. Anyway, uh, that is where we are going to leave it. No! Today. Banking! Uh, because you guys have the ability to level up now, and that's going to take a little bit, because... Honestly, I think level 6 is more important than level 5. Uh, when it comes to 5e. What you talking about, play? I'm done. It was, I mean, I didn't... I actually, Honestly, Cleric actually wasn't that much level 6, to be honest. My wasn't really much either. Like, new domain no. feature happened, and then I got one more uh, level 3, and that's pretty much it. Well, it's more of the fact that uh, level 6 gives a lot to a lot of solo cl uh, single class classes oh for sure well the, the, the problem is though is that with claret though is that you get so much of it at the front end mm -hmm. kind of just like kind of like they're like ah cool take that <laughs> um but yeah uh i hope you like the introduction of your bbeg let's effing go end i mean you still have End game BBEG. You still have to deal with the other threats of Fandolin, but I figured let's introduce the BBEG now that you've hit level 5. It's not going to be a now problem, but you're seeing it now. Can we just not and say we did? Because that'd be great. Um. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a little bit of a uh, thing for each of you to think about now that you know this threat is in existence. Um, for uh, Ginkgo and Lothar being old war vets, it took an army to take this down the first time, according to those crypts, to our uh, esteemed rogue cleric um, to uh, Obi. You have connections with the dark side, the underground, the thieves guild, which means you have access to a black market you could potentially tap. To Jaraxxus, You have a patron, but you also have a deity. 
to um to Scarlet, sorry. I was about to say Ginko. I already talked about Ginko. To Scarlet. You are a being that has ties to the undead. As well as a past that potentially could help from what you've told me of your past. And finally to uh, Triss. You have family. Yeah. <laughs> family that are not very... I don't really give a fuck about me, though. I will they care leave... about themselves, so they might want to protect themselves. I, I will leave all that for you all to think about. As I leave you all. Have a wonderful week, and I hope you all enjoyed today's session. Hell yeah. Except for the part where the thing would not fucking die. Yep. Bro, that's zombies. That's one like just smack it in the face. It just has to fail. Yeah, but I think its fail roll was based on how much damage you did to it, so that's why we wanted to do max damage so it had the harder. No, for undead, if you, like, bring it down to zero hit points, it can roll a con save to see if it actually hits zero or if it sits at one. So it would, it didn't really matter how much damage you did. It, okay. it I thought it had something to the... the more damage yeah. we did than bring it below zero. Okay, okay, well that's better then, because if, if the big bad evil guy is going to be... Um, also doing this bullshit with the one hit point, I was just making sure, like, fuck, do we have to hit it, like, with the ability that does 30 damage? Yeah. So we can't, like, okay, okay, that's good to yeah. know. So, so, Perky, what was your reaction to the whole... You see Obi's hands start going, and you're like, wait, what? Like I said, we all thought you went Warlock. Nope. Yeah, I'm sorry that I tricked you guys. I didn't want to, like, ruin it and be like, well, it's actually this. So, so it was easy to just be way. like, oh, I saw nothing. I'm just fucking with you. I do say on the way back, we should see if the ruins are still there after it left. Forget about the plate mail. No, no, the, the, there could be anything useful in there towards killing the dragon if they are buried there. It'd be helpful. I mean, it would probably still be inside its skeletal corpse because we were inside its skeletal body. So if there were, were any big magical weapons, they'd just probably still be rattling around in its chest cavity. So it probably wouldn't be left behind. We gotta walk back past there anyways. So we, just at least check. we ain't walking past shit. Um, this, is I, choice. This, this is what I get. I got a cart and land vehicle proficiency. We ain't walking past shit. You want to hop out and look at it, you feel free, buddy. You walk in the rest of the way. If he hops out and looks at it, we're leaving his ass behind. That's what I'm saying. He wants to look at it. I don't have a I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem in the world. He wants to check it out. Let me see what it is. That's fine, man. That's you. That's you. You do you. That's cool. Hey, I've leveled up. Well, I'm thinking too that that uh, tomb wasn't attached to the dragon. It was dug into it. And now, but whoa, 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 whoa! Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Motherfucker, undead. Okay, that means it does not follow the logic of a living being that you need. It does not need organs. It does not need oxygen. It does not need food. So anything that it had inside of it that required any of those things to function doesn't matter anymore. So it's just flying and literally screaming fuck you the whole time. Like it just, it hates you now. Like it, it don't it don't like you. That's not cool. I get it. it's we not cool. We killed its baby. We did actually just kill its baby too. Like that's yeah. the real thing that happened. 
what we do is we just hope that in the miscellaneous, you know, flying around bullshit, it just finds Venom Fang and says, fuck you, kill them. Secondly, secondly, and I feel like it's more important in this moment, um, we in Neverwinter, and we have a fucking plethora of of, 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 of gems with us, with money. You want armor? I, let's just buy you armor. Let's, 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 I'll just buy, let's just buy you armor. Oh, I'm not talking about just specifically the armor. I'm thinking those people killed him before. They could have a magic dragon killing sword in there to do extra damage. All right, all know. right. You hop in its tummy tum tum, and you let me know what you find. <laughs> its tummy's gone. It flew off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So is that magical sword. But the two it... attached to it. Yeah, it was. No, no, that's why Obi had to dig a hole. It wasn't there originally, so the, there was like a tunnel dug into something else out of its head. So it was in the ground. Yeah, see, the pathway only I could get to it, but it did widen up towards the top end, so Obi just kind of dug a hole connecting it to the main chamber so you kind of just could get through. Y'all pet I'm copperheads, don't you? Like, like y'all pet like copperhead snakes. Like they, they come around. You're like, look at that cute little baby. And you start petting it, don't you? I'm just saying, if this thing is as evil as they're saying it is, then anything could help. And if it's buried in there with them, it could help in the end. We just need to be stronger. Yeah, I'm just I gonna, think like, on the way down, peek my head over, and be like, okay, is it still there? Cool, carrying on. I just, the, the, uh, the urgency to get the mana fixed up and move my family away from the house surrounded by many, many trees, uh, and into the mana is now just like, it needs to be done. Thunder Tree's directly to the right, and that's where the lumber mill's at, right? Uh, maybe I exited out of it because the screen was flashing and making me feel sick. But I'm gonna go eat my jello that has been waiting for me f for like seven hours. Enjoy it! You I will, I'll let you know what I think. Okay, bye! Bye! Thanks for not letting me die. You're welcome. I didn't do anything. Uh, east of Thunder Tree. I literally thought I was gonna do something. What? What? What about Thunder Tree? Uh, the one quest for sprucing up Phandalin says that there's a lumber mill to the east of Thunder Tree. What a quinky dink! If I remember correctly, look at the world map. Thunder Tree was to the right of Number One. Yep, and Thunder Tree is also where the keep of my inheritance is. But, like, for real. That's where the, uh, my keep that I have, the deed, is in Thunder Tree. And hopefully it's more intact than the other place. Look, man, I'm donating it, okay? Because I'm above mere you know, just pure material possessions and shit. 